this country that don't have more than two Why kids. is your ex-girlfriend, like, trying to talk to us through a glass wall? She just doesn't know anymore. You're a kook. Insane. You're insane. We're trying to do a show, and she's trying to have conversations with all of us in the room. Have don't you noticed? That. You're not listening, so now she's trying to talk to me. <laughs> I don't read lips. What is she trying to say? I don't know. Jimmy's ex-girlfriend is here to do the news, I guess, and she's yeah. outside the studio looking through the glass trying to have... Who is she trying to have? I, I saw her looking at you at one point, Eric. She wants me to get Jim's attention. Oh, is that it? She wants you to get Jimmy's attention. And then she talks through a soundproof glass. And now she's uh, talking again. What is she <clears throat> saying? I don't... You have a mic, Aaron. Aaron, her name is... Uh, what? You guys are talking about everything she planned on she talking about. She has the news. She wants to do yeah. the news. Oh, oh, wow. You guys are talking about everything I was going to talk about. Believe me, you aren't going to do our inimitable style. That's, That's right. what we do here on the Opie and Anthony show. And I got my ass off at 6 in the morning. Something tells me that is hard for her. Yeah. It, oh, my <laughs> God. I was like up all night person. with my friend with an overdose. What happened? Um... I broke up with my ex-boyfriend because he has a little penchant for hookers. We came to a friendly settlement, some, you know, cash deal, car thing, and I left, and then he decided to call me and take a bunch of pills, and I had to call 911. What kind of pills? I don't know what he took. I wasn't there when he took them. Um, I know he takes, he's bipolar, so he takes lithium, lamictal, I think he mixed it with a bunch of painkillers, some wine. I don't know exactly what he took because I wasn't there. Sounds like there. a nice night. <laughs> wow. So, uh, what, so what happened? He called you and he was uh Called me he and he said, you, you've got to come over now. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, what, <laughs> Jim's making a face at me. No, I'm enjoying this. I, I said I'll come over if you will sign an agreement saying you'll take a lie detector test. What? And What's the lie detector for? What? What's the lie detector test for? I want to know e exactly um, what infidelities happened and what didn't. Because and... you, you broke up with him because he had a penchant for hookers. I, I broke up with him. We separated for six months. We dated for a year. I caught him with a hooker, and I stabbed him. And then I left him for six months, and then we get back together. And I want to know if he's been faithful to me in the last four months and if there were any more hookers than the one hooker. When we were together the first time. Uh, but are you trying to get back with him? Um, well, I was trying to leave and just make everything am amicable and get my car back and get my, yeah. uh, what is it, palimony, you call it? I'm just saying if, you, if you're if you going to call it off, why not just, who cares if he was faithful or not? Oh, I need to on. know. You need to know. Yes. Why do you need to know? Yeah, why? But I was very interested in what you guys were talking about with the having too many children and the hurricane and I was enraged by what Kanye West went on the air and did. Right. All right. We'll get into well, that's that. Okay, but that doesn't have anything to do with. Sit out here like a second-class citizen. It's fine. Oh wow. So what? What kind of? He gave you the car or no? What? He gave you the car or he didn't? The car. I, I can't hear you because I'm all the way out in the other room. You heard everyone else talk. Heard me <laughs> you she answered heard. every question I was saying. She heard me perfectly. What the fuck? Ooh, Anthony looks pissed. No, no, no. no. What'd you stab him with? Um, I broke a, a champagne glass, yeah. and I guess I took one of the edges and cut him. Luckily, I didn't go two inches higher. It just got his thighs, but he's got some pretty nasty scars. Matt, didn't you stick an antenna up his ass once too? I, of course, can't hear because you guys still have me locked in the other room. Uh, uh, did, didn't you once put a phone antenna in his hiding? What? I'm not Marley Matlin. I can't read lips, Norton. <laughs> <laughs> did my ex just call me Norton? Jesus. Yeah. What? You're in the news dunking booth. That's where you belong, like all news girls. So just stay there. I, I don't know what do you're saying. But what I was interested in talking about was what Kanye West did. All right. Well, and, uh, all right. That's oh. all right. That's great. Wow. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Jim. It'll be a good segment. I'm sure what? it will. It'll be a good segment. Did you sh did you shove an antenna up his ass once? <laughs> and when you were talking about the abundance of children, I just have some very specific beliefs on that. <laughs> Can someone ask her if she shoved an antenna up her ex-boyfriend's uh, tuchus? You know what? I, um, oh, now you can hear, right? No, I, I did do two things involving his ass. Actually, three things involving his ass. All right. Once, 
he claimed to me that he was allergic to peanuts. And I know he's not allergic to peanuts. I know he just doesn't like them. So he passed out drunk, and I shoved some peanuts up his ass. You know, that, that could be fatal if somebody he is. He wasn't allergic. I knew he wasn't allergic. I knew he just wasn't, didn't like them. So I didn't understand. You shoved peanuts <laughs> up his ass. Yes. Because why can't you just say that you don't like them? Don't lie. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm with her. Yeah, now Jesus I've got Christ. something else to add to the lie detector test. Yeah. And then um, once I was very mad at him, he passed up, and I shoved a phone on ten- antenna up his ass. And Wow. Yeah, there's, there's, there's don't f- you ever fall asleep uh, in front of her? Yes, and I said, I'm allergic to cock. <laughs> and the next thing you know, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people commenting about her voice. Uh... Yeah, it's a very interesting voice, but she's hot as shit. It's very early in the morning. She's yeah. like, she's pretty much a nine See, to I've a ten. Yeah, I've got my little uh, signed agreement here with the polygraph test. Yeah, Rob is uh, from Jersey, is saying, tell her to have another four packs of cigarettes and wait. She, she hasn't slept yet. That's all. Yeah, she's a bit. Uh, no, I haven't, and uh, my voice is scratchy. And she used to go out with Jim Norton. So uh, just sit tight. We're gonna get to you next. I promise. All right, there she goes. Here's the rest of the Geraldo oh. clip. About the 11 kids or whatever. Or I don't know where we're at with this. Yes, um, this is my youngest grandson and this is their brothers. We got separated. All right, they're separate. I I hope to God, I'm so glad they're not here. They're not here. They're not here at hell on earth. But here, hold hold this, honey. What's your name? My name is Anna Lee. Okay. Look look in the face of the baby. This is it. This is it. No sugarcoating. No political spin. No Republicans or Democrats. People suffering. Let them go. Let them out of here. Let them go. Let, let them my walk people over go, this man. Interstate and let them out of here. A uh, question to Geraldo. Did he bring this family back to his fine hotel room? Yeah, Geraldo. Did you, Geraldo? This is what it's about. The babies. What the did he... Thousands of... Upon thousands of babies. What did he do when the camera was off? Did he bring the baby back to his hotel? Living in poverty. Staying? Living in poverty, yet they could have 11 kids and eat... To the point of obesity. That whole goddamn city is obese. It's awful. Every woman they showed... All right, I'm, I'm generalizing. It isn't every, of course. It's a fine city. But it, it, there, I, a large portion of the female population there are trucks. Big obese. They, they qualify as being obese. And they, they have multiple children... And what? They're they're in poverty. They can't pay for this. How are they affording that much food to get that fat? And and how are they affording to have so many children? Isn't that one of the fattest states of the nation? Has Indiana? to be. Has to be. But that's how they choose to live their lives. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? What's the big how about deal? a lot of it's on the public dole? How about it makes uh, evacuation uh, a little a little harder? This is called. Um, what do they call that? Survival of the fittest. If they were all marathon runners in that city, it still would have been a problem. No, they'd all be uh, out of there. They'll be able to run across that bridge. I just have more empathy for hot chicks. Well, that too. She's holding up signs now. What does that sign read? Enforced abortion. She wants to. <laughs> what? She wants to probably have some kind of law that says that people have to be given abortions. Holy crap. All right. We really should take a break so we could get to this. Uh... Nutcase. <laughs> and, and, and I miss hanging out with you. I'm telling you, man, when you get to hang out with her, she has more stories than anyone I know. Remember the time at Starbucks? It was one story after another. Yes. All enchanting the, and real. I met Jimmy and, and her at a Starbucks to, to, you know, to, to hang for a little while, and, and she just kept me entertained for an hour. For an hour. She's the one that also broke the plasma uh, TV, right? Yes. The big, huge plasma uh, screen TV. Really? Just Broken. shattered it. What did she throw through that? I don't remember. Something heavy. Something, yeah, because the guy pissed her off. What a loser. And then stuck an antenna up his ass. I know that story. Stuck an antenna up his ass. Right? Yeah, phone antenna. Phone antenna. And peanuts and... Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get to you in a second here. Why don't we take a break and... Uh, what name is she going by today? It's Aaron. All right, it is. Yes. <laughs> 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 we got to find out about the first time that uh, Jimmy went out with her, because Jimmy was at the time in love with this chick. He yes, thought, he really thought he found his uh, his soulmate. Yes, Prozac from Whackbag wants to know um, why did she kill Kurt Cobain? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
We're back with the Opie and Anthony program. I was in the bathroom with Jim Norton. Yeah. Taking my uh, my leak. Yep. Every break, have to take a leak, drinking so much water and coffee and what have you. And all of a sudden, Aaron came stumbling into the men's room because she needed to take a leak. And Too why not do it in the watch. men's room, right? What? Yes. Muffin likes to watch. Muffin. Did you just watch her take a leak? Yeah. No, she, he likes to watch me pee. Yeah, I know. I just, that's why I asked uh, Muffin? Jim. Is that what you call Yeah. Him? Cute. Oh. A little muffin. So Do we have a pet name for you? <laughs> Luna, <laughs> lunatic? <laughs> Sociopath, I don't know. Wait, did you just saw her leak? Yeah. And then the building manager came by. I didn't really have time to wipe that much. But, <sighs> but aren't you trying to get back with the X, with the lie detector test and all that? No, I just want to know exactly what happened and, mm. um, you know, if there's more prostitutes mm. than he said there were, maybe I can increase my settlement. Uh, I just had him sign this. Settlement, huh? So, I don't. Well, you know, we were, we were together on and off for two years, so we agreed to a $40,000 cash payment, and I, I get to keep the car. Why 40 grand? The car's a great car. Wait, Why, who, who did, drew this up? I did. Uh, so she's now a lawyer. Legal document. Can I, can I read what she made her ex-boyfriend uh, sign? Yeah. I blank the name, obviously. Do solemnly swear to take a polygraph test at the be- behest. Solemnly. The behest? Yes. The she, behest. she had to use legal Did you use behest? lingo. Yes. At the behest of uh, Aaron. Yes. The subject matter Aaron. Yes, thanks for calling me Aaron, please. Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. Whatever. Whatever. The subject matters of these questions asked will be regarding matters of past and possible questions of current and recent infidelities. I, name of the dude, do also swear that if I do not keep my promise and submit to a polygraph at an establishment of Miss Blank's choosing, I will pay her a sum of fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Jesus, you guys are a bunch of kooks. Why are you entitled to anything? Because I've lived in a nine thousand dollar a month apartment and driven a two hundred thousand dollar car, and I think I should be kept because uh, of his screw up. I should my lifestyle should change. But why? I don't understand that. If for a two year relationship, it just sounds like you're in it. Uh, what you got during the relationship, if it's based on what he's bringing in, uh, should just be, you should have enjoyed it for that time. But when it's over, it's over. Now you got to move on. It is, there's no, I don't think anyone has a right to continue the lifestyle after the relationship's over. What? Oh, you got divorced. That's right. That's why. Yeah, yeah you're I, a little I'm bitter. I'm kind of a pro yeah. of that. No, I'm not bitter. This is all based on fact. But well, we, we do new. Uh, I was also legally married for nine years. Uh, so I guess the lawyers had a little more to go on than that. Well, but I, we, I this is a personal agreement between he and I. I want to. Why fin- would he agree to that? Well, I want to yeah. finish college, and he thinks he should help. And I also have some other uh, investment ideas that he said he would help me with. So you know, there's no reason that just because we break up that he shouldn't do what he said he was going to do. And considering we're breaking up and it's his fault, he should be an honorable man and see, didn't do what he said. Old peanut ass ought to come across <laughs> with the uh, cash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we know you. You can take care of yourself. Why? You don't need his money. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I could use it. And I really like my car. Yeah. What kind of car you have? It is a 2004 911 turbo convertible Porsche. That's, uh, and you were jet setting all over the world with this guy, right? Yeah, we went to Europe for about six months. We went to Saint Tropez last summer. I'm trying to remember all the stories. Isn't, how, it, isn't how, it true this he, guy changes his apartment every year because of some OCD, OCD. thing? OCD. He slept through <laughs> half of Europe. He would sleep 20 hours a day. I mean, it was basically me in Europe by myself. What's the line of work? Uh, he runs a, an $11 billion hedge fund, and he's tw- fund. 28 years old. Oh, yeah, Barely hedge. goes into work. He just makes a few good choices. Makes the company a couple hundred mil, gets one percent of it, so he ends up making three to five million a year. Sounds like there's a long prison term in his future somewhere. <laughs> no, it's all it's all legal. Hedge yeah. funds are highly unregulated. And he's paying nine thousand dollars a month for his apartment. <clears throat> yes. And he. And I he, was his real estate broker. That's how I met him. And he switches apartments once a year here. Yeah, because of OCD. He's got original. Um, Lichtenstein's, is that how I say, am I saying it right? Lichtenstein. Lichten, Lichtenstein, <laughs> Lichterhein, I don't know, whatever. So he's got original art, original Picassos, never hung anything up. They all line the floor. They sit on the hallway. No furniture, 
origin apartment, but all these things have never been hung on the wall any in any of his apartments. Mm-hmm. It's bizarre. Mm. And, Sounds and, it. And why does he move? I know it's the OCD, but what what in particular um, makes him move every year? Just he, he, I mean, I think it's mainly an OCD thing. But this apartment, despite the view of the park, doesn't have a terrace, and. Uh, we were looking for something with a terrace and an outdoor hot tub. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And Jimmy can offer you anything when you guys were going out? M- uh, Muffin would not even take one night. You know what? Never in the whole time we went out. We went out about a year. He never took one night off of work. There was not one night that we spent together where we were not in the comedy cellar. Even 9-11, we spent 9-11 together. He called every comedy club in the tri-state area to see if he could get on stage. I did try, but there were no spots available. Would, That's uh, dedication. Yeah. yeah. He was He's dedicated to he his was craft. the worst boyfriend I've ever had. <laughs> That's not true. You, yeah, you were awful. I was a nice boyfriend. I was a gentleman. <laughs> you got to hear this. <laughs> Between the nipples and the neglect. I, I do know. like my nipples played with. Oh, uh, did that bother you? Playing with his nipples? Well, that that it has to be something that that occurs every single time. It has to be. It has to be. What, every time you had to tweak his nipples in the middle of sex? <laughs> <laughs> no, during the whole time. So it makes it very limiting in terms of, of position. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I had to have my nipples tweaked. While having intercourse every time. the whole time, you had to be tweaking his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if if you guys are doing doggy style, you would have to... He tweaks his own nipples. Then. <laughs> what I do, I don't tweak them. What I do is this: I take no, no, I don't have to do this. I take the thumbs and just tickle the nipples. The See, emotion, yeah. I guess we all have weird things we like done, but oh, something like really that, weird. you would assume it would be like maybe a thirty-second thing. It's like, yeah, it's one of my things, and then you go on to having sex. But you're trying to tell me that the whole time, the whole has entire to... time, otherwise he will lose the rod. I lose the rod. I would never be able to come. If I didn't get like that done, and even like even now, if I'm having sex, I don't have to have it the whole time. But if I if I'm in the area where I want to I want to come, it has to happen. Wow! <laughs> like I've had girls doing it, and they stop doing it, and we can still have sex, but no way am I coming. Right. No way am I coming. And generally, there's some you know dirty talk during it. Which Gee, you think? First, <laughs> you can really hold on a second, Mother <laughs> Teresa. Uh, one time we're at her apartment, and um, I'm going down on her, and this is what fucking Miss Enchantress blurts out as I'm going down on her. She goes, "Do you think little girls get wet when their fathers fuck them?" And then she goes, "Ugh!" And she comes. <laughs> No way. Uh, no, I, I, That's I, I, absolute I, truth. I sincerely wonder if, if you're molested long enough on a long-term basis, does your body physically react and start to enjoy it? Do you orgasm with your father? It's a good point, Doc, but to blurt it out and while you're at having that, this. she just comes. <laughs> uh, That's not worthy of the Kinsey report? I mean, that's interesting. I thought so. I'm scared of you. Wow. I'd be scared too. I we set people. Uh, we set these two up, by the way. Mm-hmm. She was yes. part of one of our old radio shows. Did you tell where, about our first wow. date? Where, uh, yes. where uh, she came in to get smacked really hard by Jimmy in the face. I was I was driving. I still remember where I was. Like, I was on like 10th Avenue. You know, like if Jim Norton is listening, we have a girl in here. Uh, she likes to be slapped during sex. I see. What I called in was about that. I was wondering if I if it was wrong that I found the Sopranos rape scene of Dr. Melfi really hot. All right, I remember that. Remember I was that, watching yes. that with my parents, and I, I I had to leave the room. I still remember it. He ripped off her stockings, and he said, I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> like, that, like, SVU and all those shows are not on for, like, gratuitous sexual enjoyment. Like, those shows are not no, on to get, are. I mean, yeah. give me a break. They are, obviously, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, XM just signed a uh, woman's channel. Uh, you'd be perfect for it. Oh, yeah. Fit I'm right sorry. in with Ellen DeGeneres and the rest of them. Is that what they're going to put on that uh, woman's channel? The yeah. Lifetime channel. And this is the Because You Asked For It hour. What's oh, the, wow. <laughs> what's the channel called? Uh, take Five. Take Five, I guess. Yeah, just Take Five, girls. The Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres show, uh. basically the audio from her TV show, the Tyra <laughs> Banks show, the Food Network, and what's... Home and Garden. Oh, that's HGTV. Uh, okay. uh, and the Judith Warner Show. All coming to XM Satellite Radio. Take five. Take five. Right now. in my mouth if you don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more pro man. So, yeah, it's the, it's the Have a Knuckle Sandwich Whore channel. 
So she came in. She came and got slapped around pretty good, and uh, and then you guys decided you needed to date, right? Well, what happened was I came in and and um, you know, we, no one thought I would slap her, or so I slapped her a couple of times, and yeah. Uh, we kind of laughed about it. Hard. Yeah, of on course. On the face and yeah. on the ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot I spanked you. Hard. And um, I like that. Did Jimmy spank you today? Uh, No, but I just let him watch me pee in the bathroom. Which was nice. Mm. Yeah. And it was... uh, Clean she, shaven? Yeah, well, she, I don't know, completely. She's not wearing uh, underpants. pants. A little bit. Because um, I was in the hospital, all, like, all night. Uh, we could all see it's a little bit. Thank you yeah, for that. That was very well, nice. I didn't get to wipe, so I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit. All right. It so just, She's got a little little something going on there. She wound up... No, don't point at the toilet paper, rookie. Why so? Oh. So, anyway, I come now in... she's wiping in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not Jeez. a shy girl. I understand that. All right. Go ahead. So, I come in, and I slap her. Hard. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we laugh about it. We get along. And uh, I don't know what happened. Did we hang out after that, or did we say you're going to come to the comedy we song hang that out, night? We hung out that night. We, I went oh, with that's right. It was 3 to 7. Salad. It was after yeah. 7. We, yeah. We left. And um, we're in the comedy cell upstairs in the olive tree, and she goes, uh, can I borrow 20 bucks? 30. Oh, is it 30? Yeah. All right. So I kind of like, all right, well, I know where this is going to go. I won't be seeing her again. Yep. And uh, I guess, what is it, an hour later, she comes back. I'm like, well, where were where you? She's like, oh, I went to Washington Square Park. I tried to buy Coke, but I got robbed at knife point. I'm like, oh, good. Well, I'm having a kebab. Would you like some? <laughs> that, was, that was their first date. <laughs> that was our first date. And then That's she wouldn't wonderful. tell me where she lived because she was afraid I was going to stalk her. So <laughs> I, I dropped her off like two blocks from her house. And ate me out in the car. In the car, yeah. <laughs> ate her out in the car. Uh, I still lived in Jersey at the was time. Was it nice? The car? No, the uh, the eating. Um, yeah, actually, he's he's a good head giver. Yes. Really. Oh, yeah, what is. a guy. Did you have to tweak your nips as you were doing oh, no. that? No, no. It's just all that. about her at that point? He's oh, much more into oral sex than, um, you know, the traditional vaginal yeah. sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then uh, where did this relationship go from there? We dated for almost a year. Almost a year. Yeah. A lot of uh, turbulent times. Um, Any big arguments? Do you think? A couple? I, uh, just a I'm couple. a little high maintenance. Jimmy was... Yeah. No, wait, I don't... That's not true. Jimmy was really into her in the beginning there. Oh, yeah. We, 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 in I, the beginning? Not the whole thing? Once we broke up, I wasn't. But, you know, once we were dated, I was, of course. Yeah. What but type now, of high maintenance do, is do she? Do you still have any feelings left? I probably like you more now because we, you're, you're, you're my friend. You're the only ex I'm friends with. She's the only ex I've ever... So wow. is there so like a reconciliation you ever think about? Probably, I don't think we'd probably get along like that. I mean, we fight too much. You tap a lot. You're a sociopath. Uh, I, I have my OCD. problem. You think a little OCD? She can't. We go into restaurants, and this is this is always nice. And and she starts turning the forks upside down. You know, and I'm like, why? And I then, feel like the tines are coming at my eyes. It's it's OCD. It's, <laughs> oh, like that is the most abnormal thing that you've ever heard of. No, no, no. That's the good. Forks being on the table. <laughs> the tines. That's, that's, that's tines. I wouldn't say it's coming at my eyes. Can I say? Wow. Boy? And sounds normal today. That is fantastic. She can't look at the Scorpions albums covers. Albums covers. Oh, with the <laughs> I forks. Can't, yeah. I can't look on anything like in a staple store. Anything that's on a hook. I, I can't, like, look straight on and things that are pointed. Because like, it you know, looks I, like they're coming at you? Yeah. What about, like, a straw coming out of a cup? I, like, I don't love it. That's no, why I just because you got to bring it right yeah, up to your face. Yeah, I just stick it right in my say, mouth. I guess she doesn't like giving head with that thing coming at you, huh? I like, well, because I can put the whole thing in my mouth. So That's oh, a blunt object, too. She solved that problem. Very sharp. Was, I, I figured out how to get over the whole gag reflex thing. Was there times that oh. you would uh, get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom? I get, I, oh my God, I pee like every five minutes. No, 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 no. He's the, only, <laughs> he's the only person I know that pees as much as I do. That's kind of where we bonded. Like, yeah. Uh, passing the, by the toilet. Yeah, we just yes. kind of wink. Yes. Like a little I love you nod. And... Jim, why don't you, why don't you explain? Because you, you've had, you have said it uh, a few times on the show. Oh, then I, oh, no, no, no. Well, she was, at that time, she used to enjoy partaking in a little, uh, let's just say her and Ben would have had a heck of a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Why? What does that mean? <laughs> that you enjoyed partaking in uh, a little of the nose stuff. Oh, I I have not touched the nose stuff in years now. No, I know, but she would do Tristan. both. Yeah. What? Um, but she would have to get up in the middle of the night. I do have they a were big hole stuff. in my nose. You I, do? Too bad this isn't. Yeah, you could see it. You could stick one pinky through. See From it. Coke? Yeah, Holy the pinkies in it. Stop it's exactly it. the same size of a a pencil eraser. Are you kidding? No. Can it we like burn it? through your septum? 
Yeah, from about like 17 to 21, 22. Can we push some string through it or something and you do, sure, a, sure. do a little... Sure, absolutely. Yeah? Sure. All right, guys, get something she could stick in her nose and out the other side there. I, I got to see this. I, yeah, I really Jim, don't you want to explain those? <laughs> so that my, my buddy was getting married. He's a cop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> South no. Jersey. And it's 3 in the morning. And she keeps. This is when I lived in that awful dump in Cliffside Park. That was a dump. It really was. I'll tell you one thing. Our fights were never about money. They were never about money. It was always about yeah, time. You never off. gave me any. You never asked for any. I wouldn't have anyway, but you, you never asked. You wouldn't have? No, I would have a little bit. She never asked. Will you give me that money now? Yeah, I got a few bucks for you. Okay. Um, so it's th- three in the morning. I'll do something for it. Good. Go ahead, Jimmy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> These, two. These two are the best. Shouldn't um, we be together? Oh, dude. You like Burns and Allen. Yeah. <laughs> Say goodnight, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we're more like Burns and cigarettes, but yeah. well, yeah. So listen, she would go. Mm-hmm. Where uh, this is the night before my buddy got married, and, and she's in my room, and she keeps getting up running to the bathroom with her purse. And I'm like, what are you doing running to the bathroom with your purse? And she's like, I'm just going to the bathroom. And I'm like, you're bringing your purse. Do you think that I don't know what's going on? Right. So she's going to the bathroom. She's doing blow. Um, three in the morning. I'm trying to sleep because my... And sometimes I was legitimately urinating. Sure, with a purse, you know, because it's always good to carry your purse. No, I, I hid the purse under the, the, what do you call it, cabinet thing? For what? So I didn't have to keep carrying the purse. With Why things. would you have to carry the purse? So you wouldn't know what I was doing. But how did I not know what you were doing? You were carrying your purse. Well, I just didn't uh, want you to know how many times I was doing I was it. laying there with you, and every time you'd go to the bathroom, you'd come back, <laughs> you'd lay in bed, and you'd be chitting and chatting and All talking. grinding teeth. Yeah, I'm not tired. Are you tired? I'm not tired. Are you tired? <laughs> no, I'm wide awake. I'm not tired. Let's go to that wedding tomorrow. It should be a fun wedding. Is he getting married? Is he going to be fun? Where are you going on the honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. get into that. And, uh... <laughs> so we go to the wedding the next day, and it was just a disaster, and uh, the whole way down, she's just cranky, and she has to throw up, and then we park in the parking lot, and she's like, is it all right if I just stay in here and sleep for a little while while you go into I'm like, can you just fucking be normal for once? Can you just be human? <laughs> oh, man. And we actually wound up having... That must have been a great scene, it though. It actually turned really, out to be a nice day. I that felt actually, like yeah. I was going to OD, though. We, like, I got some ginger ale. I needed to get something into yeah. my blood sugar. I've been drinking, and... and you know, sniffing lines all night. I really just felt like I couldn't stand and like I was going to pass out. Yeah. It was actually a nice... That actually turned out to be a good... I don't know how that one got salvaged, but that actually turned out to be a good uh, No, then we... I, I ate some food and I was fine. And, you know, then I went to AA for a while. Then I took the 12 steps back out of the bar. <laughs> back into the bar. Did you ever leak on your hand? He would not let me do that with him. I no. don't know why. I don't know why we never peed. Mm. Did you want to? I would have done it, and and he. I asked him several times, and I I imagine I'm the only girl he said no to with that. No, I don't know why we didn't. To be honest with you, I, I kept know. asking you. You never wanted me to. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Something there. What was the? Is it because uh, you liked her that much or something? No, I mean I did, but it wasn't. I don't. I didn't separate. Uh, I don't think. Was there a last straw? A blowout? A <laughs> yeah. this ends the relationship? Involves Opie. Why does it involve me? Because Jim, Jim and I are supposed to have dinner at about 7. I had talked to you while you were leaving the show. And um, I'm sitting home till about midnight. And I've been calling him. And I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. And he call, And this has been going on a lot lately, that he's just not showing up. Or we make tentative plans for 7. And he wants to hang out at 2 in the morning when I'm getting up for work the next day at 7 a.m. Mm. So then he calls me and he said, well... Well, like, Opie wouldn't let me leave. It was, like, a business thing, and I, like, Opie wouldn't let me leave, and I, I just had to <laughs> you, talk to you, Opie. You, no, wow. We had, we had a business dinner and one I time. Said, we, I couldn't go. And I said, you know, I said, that's <laughs> fucking it. We never did business dinners ever. Of course did, not. No, we did not, it. was that time when you said two uh, in the morning. Oh, you lying sack of <laughs> oh, shit. He God. was just, like, like, trolling for trannies. No, no, you should have a that. lie detector of a strap one on Jimmy. Yeah, so I said, that's, I would take that's one. it. I'm done, and that was that was it. Yeah, I, I I almost I was driving down the FDR drive. All right, hold on. She's oh. sticking the what is that? Dental floss in one nostril, and she's I gonna pull it out the other. Wait, you're putting pictures? You can't. Oh, no, no you can't. No, no pictures. I got stressed that uh, she's really hot. Can't put any she's pictures. A, she's a kook, but she's uh. Oh, this is a cool magic trick. She's uh. <laughs> showing, <laughs> it looks like dental floss watch. or string up one nostril. I certainly can't. Come Why on, not? You've been I everywhere else. I certainly can't. <laughs> Pull it out of her nostril there, Jimmy. 
Help her out. Wait, wait, Help a gal wait, out. Wait, you gotta... All right, she's got it up one nostril, but she can't get it out the other one through the uh, the hole that she burned through. Oh. Ah, uh, you know what? By you... doing too much uh, blow. Don't. don't. <laughs> Oh, don't. Oh, now she's taking a pen to really show. No, 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 no. You're going to give yourself a nosebleed. <laughs> this chick rocks. Don't, she's using the, don't put it with the, the pen point ink. of the pen. Ink. Stop. You're going to give yourself a she's, big, bad nosebleed. She's shoving it through to get to uh, it through the hole. Anyone have a tweezer? you got to have something. How no. about use that straw? Stop it. You know how to use a straw, I'm oh, sure. Oh, why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> She is, she is working. Wait, I need to make a little ball out yeah, of this. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah make a ball out of it. Tweak it. Get and the ball through the the hole. And then uh, and then pull it out the other side. She did this much coke that she burned a hole in her in her nostrils okay. there. I got it. I can. In feel between it. the nostrils, I should say, right? All right. Uh, Eric can't look at this. Steve is uh, fascinated. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Anthony's Lost kind up. of looking away. I uh, can't. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mess. <laughs> Doesn't anyone have tweezers? Yeah, help a girl out. I know. Come on. Help her out, Steve. Letter opener. Want to try the letter opener? No. No, 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 no letter opener. You're going you're gonna to end up profusely bleeding. All right, what are you doing yeah, now? Yeah, just be careful you don't cut yourself. I'm going to get this fixed anyway. What are you doing? What's that? Don't, uh... Then I'll use a paper clip. No, <laughs> no, no stop, stop. <laughs> you're going to make yourself bleed. Stop it. This is the coolest thing. No, it is not. All right, what happened there now? All right, I got to get the knot through. Of course you do. Use the paper clip. There you go. All right. Oh. All right. Why are you <laughs> doing this? She's gonna Don't use the paper clip. That's going to uh, get Use the paper clip. I think that's a good you idea. You are going to start bleeding <laughs> no. so badly from the nose. You can't tell me what to do anymore, mister. Yeah, but you don't want to bleed all over the console. Who cares? Do you, you know how many times this thing has bled? Exactly. Good point. Oh my God! All right, she's trying to push the thing through the the hole in between no, her no, nostrils. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, you I, don't. You got to see do this. this. You really don't have to. Oh, I do guess. That. I guess you just can't do it. No, I can't oh Jesus! Do I, guess, don't. I guess you just can't do it. She's gonna put every pen up her nose. Yeah, she, I guess you can't oh, do it. Oh, it's a pen cap. That's All right, logical. now she's pushing. Maybe the, maybe there's not really a hole there. That's what I'm starting. Oh to think. my God, Ovi! That's don't. what I'm starting to think. Don't, I, I, boy, <laughs> you are really... so tricky with your psychology. <laughs> yeah. oh, I bet you can't do it. Well, I bet there's no hole there it's anyway. It's the Young and Anthony show. <laughs> <laughs> you getting closer there? She's no, got all sorts of stop. stuff There's shoved no. up her one nostril. She's She's got a finger in the other nostril. She's trying to pull it through. Oh, Anything? Anything? Wait, there's got to be a pragmatic way to do that. Exactly. <laughs> no. uh, I can feel it on the other You're not side. as hot when you're picking your nose like that. You know that, right? I'm not picking. I'm, I'm, I'm... <sighs> Come on. No good. It's got a leg up in the air, so now we're all just checking out. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> it's too bad we can't get pictures of her up on the site because the downloads would be just enormous. Uh, what do you think? What's going on there? Should we just wait around? Stop. Stop. I feel it. I feel it. No, you feel a clot probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me just go to the phones uh, while she attempts to do this magic trick. Do you have a mirror that anyone can hold? I'm sure you have plenty. No, no. Ben's probably got one. Yeah, go ask Ben. Bob, yeah. Jersey, what's up? Hey. Hey. The Norton and Cocor Show. Two words, golden ticket. Golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see voice. Oh, ah! Oh, and it's, it's bloody. bloody. Well, yeah. Of Holy <laughs> motherfucker. What is wrong with you? The whole... What is that? Is Whoa. that? It's all bloody. <laughs> Dude, she is covered. Like, the blood now is... Wait, what? Do you have a mirror so I can wipe the blood? There you go. Look at that. Wait, what did you... What is that that she shoved up her nose, by the way? Is it dental floss or just a piece of string? It's a piece of string. All right, it's a piece of string. So it goes in one nostril, nice uh. and white. It's now out the other side as well, and it's, uh, it's, it's bloody. It's red. It's pink. Well, yeah, I just scrape the hole to, you know... Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> all right, now tie a knot. Don't I was going to tie a little bow. No. There you go. Now she's tied a knot. It's gone Muffin, all... Muffin, tie me a bow. No, it's blood <laughs> on it. Come on. Tie a yellow ribbon, baby. All right. Norton is now tying a knot. Oh, my God. A, a bow. You know what a bow is. I know what a bow is. All right. Don't pull. I'm you not going to pull. pull for that. That. <laughs> These two are right. always so mess. <laughs> oh, my God. You just... Oh. All right. Norton is now tying a, a cute little bow. 
with the uh, with the string that is in one nostril and out the other. Ah, oh, look how cute that looks. Can we get a picture of that without your eyes or anything? Or, uh, an extreme close up. You can get close up. Then we'll your face. You, you have to approve the picture. I just signed a contract yesterday. I'm not supposed to. What I got with most deaf people. They signed a contract yesterday. You just signed a contract. Okay. Well, you, we won't put, they won't put your face. They'll show only your nose. Trust me. They won't put. They won't put your face. If you don't like the picture, they won't put it up. You signed a contract with who? It was a uh, record label. Don't say which one. No. Um, you you like sing too? Yeah. Just take the picture and then uh, well, you guys uh, met just me Photoshop now. it so you just have the nose. Don't no head. No, no, they won't. They won't relax. No, Cover your eyes. That's just not make something I say no. often. They could Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> they could Photoshop it. Cover your eyes. Yeah. Cover your eyes. So it's okay. No, rather not. Really? Yeah. Because then you could get well, the entire. When nose. I first met you, you guys, when I went on the air, I was signed to uh, oh. Warner Brothers. Let me see. Wow, that's a sweet shot. Let me see. All right, Steve, why don't you let her see? The uh, the blood doesn't come out as good in the in. Oh, that makes my nose look big. Can in, you get me at a different angle? Uh, yeah, we could do a, a couple different me, like, angles. Nig nose. <laughs> that's huge. <laughs> it gives her like nig nose. Yeah, my nose is not that big. I want an accurate depiction of my nose. All right, why don't we get an accurate... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> it is really... When uh... I met you guys the first time I came in, when I was about 22, 23... That's a little better. I still have the name nose. I was signed uh, to one of the five... Ma I was signed to Warner Brothers, and they flipped out that I went on the air. Oh, really? And put pictures on. I did get dropped right after 9-11. Not because of that, but they were not happy that I went on the air. Yeah. So are you guys going to hook up again? We Jimmy? Might, we might have sex, right? Yeah, we may have sex. Yeah? But, uh... I don't know. We're, we get along good as friends. I mean, uh... Does anyone have a scissors? I want this out now. Yeah. Oh, you want this out now? It's trying to get me uh, creeped out. It'll come out. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll come out. Well, well now I just had scissors. Yeah, just... You're going to have They're to right sit there. there. She'll have to sit there for a little while. we got to find some scissors. I feel like one of those old Chinese dudes that have, like, this. Oh, yeah, the long yeah. Chinese mustache. Oh, all right. So you guys might have sex again? Yeah, someday. Yeah. You may. And you broke the plasma TV. Did we, did we talk about that? Uh, no, we did not. What happened there? Well, that was this when is I with the ex uh, boyfriend that she's still kind of guy. involved with, right? Yeah, I just came from his his house right now. He lives a block away. Oh, really? Yeah. He's not gonna come here and kill us, is he? He's like a little Jewish slob. He's not gonna. No. Huh. no. I've met him a couple times. He was a nice guy. He wasn't a bad dude. He, he doesn't yeah. get out of bed. He sleeps like 16 hours a day. All he wants to do is be in bed. He's very depressed. Let me cut this. All right, uh, Jimmy's now gonna cut the string. Mazel tov. And there you go. There you're free. How's it feel? Uh, there you go. The auction item. I can't believe it bled. It hasn't bled in forever. Yeah, so when I caught him with the hooker, uh, before I wasn't going to be violent against him. Cause we so he likes a lot of hookers. Well, he I likes the hookers. I don't know. I don't know how, how, what he's actually done, if he's cheated on me uh, with just the two hookers I caught him with, or if he cheated on me with a lot more, which is what the lie detector test is for. Um, so, yeah, when I when I found out... I took, I guess it was a g big garbage can, one of those big silver garbage cans, and I just started bre uh, breaking the plasma screen TVs and the projector. You know, he's got one of those TVs. You oh press a button, God. a projection screen comes down. That's the, a lot of money. But the expensive part is the projector. Um, yeah. Why he, did he not kill you? Um, well, he was trying to stop me, and then I saw a champagne glass, and I banged it against uh, one of the armoires, and I just took it and started cutting his leg. I went into such a rage, I don't even remember. I mean, I was just, I went to like a rage blackout. But I, you know, this is a year ago that I did this to him, and you see his leg now, and oh, he's got scars. And he tells us, <laughs> he will tell every single one of his friends, everyone he meets, he'll say, he'll show them the scars, and, and it's just like my ex-girlfriend's a psychopath. He never includes the part about, she caught me with a hooker and then stabbed me. It's just she stabbed me. What, what did you do to the hooker? She ran out of there? Um, no, that's not how I caught him. He, it, it, I caught him after the fact. Does Does any life really need this much drama? I don't it's know. It's always is it always like last night was the OD? Like is it every well, night? Well, I left just him. I, I left him, and I guess he he flipped out, and 
You know, because I left him. I said, we'll still be friends. You're going to do what you say. You're no, no. It. I mean, do you just maybe sit and watch TV one night? Is I, there a night where you go, wow, I hey. really didn't do anything and nothing happened to me? Yeah, I work out. Night. I read. I, I have, I'm pretty mellow. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that into going out or being wild that, that so much There's anymore. not just something every day that's happening? Well, lately I've been in a little legal trouble. Um, yeah, what? Just, just, just recently. Uh-huh. Okay. I have... There's like a story. You, you guys yeah, we love stories. Of course a there's minute? a story. Let's hear okay. the story. So before me and my ex had split up the first time, I'm very into yoga. I can do all sorts of crazy poses, handstands, if you want. Oh, to can you do a handstand? Um, I can do you a gotta handstand. you got to be to fuck Jimmy and tweak his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, she had to take yoga, Jimmy. Uh, one, one, <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you could do uh, a headstand and uh, like a yoga person, so why don't you try one? I'll, a I'll headstand do. against the wall or something? Yeah. Um, if you need it. All right. Well, I can do a headstand against the wall. All right. Do, do all it right. against, wait, yeah, do it against that other wall. Don't hit your feet yeah, on that. The Ladies and gentlemen, Sorry, the only turns. reason we're having her do this is because she's wearing a skirt with no oh, panties. Jesus. Oh, my God. Look at that view. Oh, my God. What is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> all doesn't right. Give up. Shit about it. <laughs> can we take that picture? No one will know. If you cover the, the cooch. Well, no, we. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'll pull up my skirt. All right. <laughs> and you want to explain? Well, I tuck it between my legs. Oh. Well, her skirt is pretty much uh, up near her head now, and she's not wearing she panties. And look at that. She can do a headstand, Anthony. She can do a headstand. Very good, Opie. I was using that gag when I was 10. Oh, yeah, Jimmy's pulling the skirt down more. You don't need to pull it down anymore. She's chastising him. <laughs> He's trying to cover it up like he's trying to stick it between the legs. <laughs> The uh, the skirt. It almost looks like it, and could it keeps falling down. It almost looks like it could talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Can't talk. That is funny. All right, I guess you could do a headstand. That's there very you impressive. Go. Very good. You got very nice legs, by the way. The picture. Or no, 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 it's okay. No, you it can't get through the door. The you come down. Yeah, come on down. Cheeks. Cheeks. Wow, look at that. Very nice. I can also do another cool yoga thing. All right. Oh, this could be a good one, Anthony. I I don't even know what it's called. Walking the dog like the or crab I don't walk. Know. Jesus. Wow, that crab is pretty cool. Type walk or something. It's like a crab walk where you balance yourself on your hands. Very nice. A little rocking back and forth. Wow. Yes. All right. Sorry Jeez. that I didn't wear panties. I didn't think well, I would be you in know. any position. Um, it comes with the uh, the job. You okay, know. It comes so with the territory the yoga here. thing. Um, when the first time around with my ex, I, I've always been into yoga and Pilates and very like working out a lot. This was my favorite yoga teacher. Ooh, I'm thirsty now. Just don't say her name. Excuse me. Yeah, don't say any names. We'll call her Satan. Okay. Satan. Ooh, I like that. Because it rhymes with her name. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wants to mm, Satan. harass Satan. Um, anyway, so she was my favorite yoga teacher. Took her class constantly. And my ex got in a fight with his... You know, he he gets personally trained. They come to his house, uh -huh. et cetera, you know, what... Um, so he got into a fight with his personal yoga teacher and said, can you find me someone else? And I said, I know the, you know, the best. She's great. So he starts using her as a trainer, and she was a great trainer. And I don't know why, but he, like, pitted us against each other. Well, I guess I have to premise this by saying my ex-boyfriend. Premise it? Yeah. Okay, so so everyone checking. understands. My ex-boyfriend was, what was that, grammatically? Preface. Yeah. Pre uh, it preface. sounded good to me. No, pre premise. I don't, I, I don't know about that. We can look that up I, after. He, he, preface. Yeah, preface it. Yeah. All right. So you're smarter than I am. Preface. No, I'm just doing that for Jimmy's sake. Yeah. He right. wanted to. Just being <laughs> pussy whip. No, I didn't even notice. You are so fucking submissive when she is here. That's not it's true. Yes, you are. Stop it. I'm very dominant, aren't I? <laughs> aren't I? Yes, <laughs> for Oh, R and I looks at me for approval. Well, that was um, <laughs> a joke, stupid. <laughs> that was kind of what I was doing. Oh, okay. Over my head. Right, now go ahead. Now so, you premised it. Go so ahead. anyway, yeah. all right. My, the, the boyfriend before this one. Yeah. I was a real estate broker after I got dropped from Warner Brothers, and so I started dating the owner of the company, who's about 20 years my senior. So you know, mm -hmm. but it, it made my real estate life easier. And then I ran off with this rich young hedge fund boy. So anyway, my favorite yoga teacher, I hired for him as his trainer. 
and he's kind of a troublemaker, and he was, he was very immature at the time. This is, you know, he's, he's 27 now, so he's 25 then. And he was always trying to pit me against people and make me jealous. So she start, he starts saying that the yoga teacher is saying that she sees me at the gym with my ex and that we're, like, holding hands and that my current boyfriend should hire a detective because I'm definitely screwing my ex. So that, of course, pisses me off, and I call his house when she's there, and I'm like, put her on the phone, and I'm like, you you can curse on the air? Yeah, you can. And, you know, I'm like, you motherfucking cunt, I ought to come over there and bust your fucking face apart. So she's flipped out, wants to get a restraining order, et cetera, et cetera. Time goes on. She and I, obviously, it puts a strain on his and I, him, he and... It, Both it, of your... It puts a strain the on the relationship between... Try the word R. R. I, you know, I want him to drop her as a yoga or teacher. Hour. He won't do it. It's something we fight about constantly. So then, finally, you know, our relationship deteriorates. I caught him with the hooker, which is, I didn't walk in on it. I caught him in an interesting way. But I caught him with the hooker, and um, the night we break up, I go out to Pasties and run into the yoga teacher. And she marches up to me and says, you owe me an apology, this, that, and the other. I never, you know, and I said, well, this is what he told me that you said. And she's like, I never said that. And I honestly believe that she, she, I honestly believe she didn't say that. I think uh -huh. he was just being a troublemaker. So he and I are broken up. She and I become, like, not real friends, but, like, best go out friends. Because she knows, all of a sudden she went from this yoga girl who was, like, screwing around with 23-year-old broke kids. And she gets around me, and I start taking her to, like, celebrity parties and introducing her to billionaires and going on yachts. So she was just like all of a sudden changed. She went, she got her boobs done and just was like into nothing but being where the, where the scene is, etc. So a week ago or two weeks ago, my very best friend who I grew up with all my life found out that she has a brain tumor and it's, she's going to lose half her hearing getting the tumor operated on. So the yoga teacher invites us out to the Hamptons to someone's estate, and we're just going to have a mellow weekend, you know, to take my friend's mind off her brain tumor. Not like the Hamptons will really help, but, you know. It's really possible to take someone's mind off I a brain tumor. Say, yeah, I know. It's a rough one. Yeah, so. You should so use the term take her mind. So I, of course, you know, out of respect, told my boyfriend that I, I rented a, two hotel rooms, I rented a house, and we also had this estate to stay at. So we I forgot. Where is this going? Oh, to my arrest recently. All okay, right. I'll make a long story short. Basically, too late. Ba oh, <laughs> <laughs> it is too late. All right. So basically, this uh, yoga whore did not want me to bring any men because she is not. She's a semi-attractive girl, and my best friend is beautiful. She wants to bring out like other beautiful girls to kind of like whore out so she can be around rich guys. And the owner of the estate really liked me. And then I went and picked up my boyfriend from the train, and he's there, and she's pissed off, and she, you know, he's her client. So she drags him outside. She said, I told Aaron this. I didn't want any guys here. I want you to get out of here. And then the owner of the estate comes over and he says, you know, I just met all these girls today. You're welcome to stay. We're having dinner. Please just, you know, I'll keep her in line. Don't even think of leaving. So she sees that we're not packing our stuff. So she calls my boyfriend on the phone from her cell phone and says, I was just doing this to protect you. Aaron, not my real name. Just fucked the owner of the, of the house about an hour oh. ago, right before you got here. So then I go and I try to get her in the house, but she, like, locks the door first so I don't get to her. So then <laughs> after that, I made some really – she was the main victim of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. She was the one, the one that got, like, assaulted that's on all the video. So, you know, I, I basically told her that what I was going to do to her would make the Puerto Rican Day Parade look like the Robinson family picnic. There is just too much drama in your would life. Would that not – I did There's not fuck the owner of that. Wouldn't that drama. piss you off if someone lied to your girlfriend and said that – you, like, lied about you? Right. Would, that would make you furious. Oh, someone, furious. All right, your photo's up with the string. Wow. That's, right. that's like real betrayal. She was one of my friends, and she went and lied to my boyfriend and tried to sabotage my relationship. All right. mm -hmm. That's a wonderful story. I, 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 so you, you got arrested. So she pressed charges because, um, yeah, I also had someone have a, a conversation with her. She pressed charges, um, and I thought they were just calling me down to talk to me, and they arrested me. Um, and now I've retained Puffy's lawyer. The one who got Puffy off that gun trial. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm sure he won't be expensive. No. <laughs> oh, God. It's ten, ten grand just for the retainer.
What a what a story. All right. Well, we're gonna take a break <laughs> from this. It's for, yeah, not that interesting of a story. It was all right. There's just too much drama in your life. You got to spend uh, more nights just uh, doing nothing. Well, we just wanna f- doing nothing. I spend a lot of nights doing. We want to thank Jim Norton's ex-girlfriend for stopping by. I mean, you're hanging for the rest of the show, <coughs> I guess. We got the band Flight Paris outside the studio. Right. We'll talk to them next. And we'll do all uh we'll do other stuff, I guess. Autograph baseball showing up for our auction. Oh. I'm looking at a Cal Ripken Come on. autographed baseball that we're gonna add to the Opie and Anthony auction, Anthony. And you know what? You know it's real. Certificate of authenticity. But you know it's real because wow. we know he signed it. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, a real autograph from Cal Ripken. We're getting a bunch of other baseball signed by other guys. And that will be added to our Opie and Anthony auction. All the new items that we're starting to collect this week will go up on Friday, Anthony. Right. But we have a lot of items you can bid on right now as we speak. You just go to OpieAnthony.com. Uh, the link is there, okay? My skates are over $5,000 at this point. And, of course, 100% of the proceeds will go to help the victims of Hurricane Katrina. That's the – what is that? That's the latest total. Oh, the latest total is uh, we've made $15,362. Not too bad. All right, we're going to regroup and we'll continue. I can't find the All right, We're back with the Opie and Anthony program. Whip them out Wednesday. You know what that's about, hopefully. If not, go to opianthony.com to get your wow stickers. If you have a wow in your car, you're in it. Girls are out there willing to flash you as you drive around if they see uh, that fine wow sticker or homemade wow sign or wow written in the back of uh, dirt. Dirt on the trailers there. Uh, Rick from Rhode Island is asking, um, ask Sex Bagel how to spell hole from the picture uh, link of Jim's uh, ex-girlfriend. How, how do you spell hole? If you spell it W-H-O-L-E, I'm going to spit my gum in your hair. What? H-O-L-E. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at the link or anything. Where, where, where is it available? Yeah, because the picture of uh, Jimmy's ex, well, her nose with the string thing is up. Is it on Opie and Anthony? Is up on OpieandAnthony.com. Oh God, I gotta go through Foundry. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, I don't see where they. Where's the the word? Burnt a hole. W H O L E. I know. Now, who wrote that? You did. Ah uh-huh. But a string that knows because you burnt right. a hole. It's nice it burnt an entire. <laughs> it burnt a complete. Yeah, Ben has a comment that a lot of people are making, so let's get this out of the way. Ben, Philly, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey, hey. Beefy Tits, how you doing? I don't appreciate that. <clears throat> hey, Dollar. Good. Uh, I just got to say, this uh, this girl, I mean, I know Jimmy screwed her and everything, but she is really bringing the show down. I mean, I, I don't know why we got to hear about all her crap. I don't know about that. She was She's on a crazy person. She I was love on it. 40 minutes, and I think she gave us 30 minutes of good radio easily. Uh, I don't know. I just I didn't catch all of it. I caught the last half, and and that was really bringing me down. Like I said, she's just another dumb bitch. All right, um, Anthony, we got Flight Paris outside the studio. Uh huh. Don decided to book this band because we were on vacation or something, and he panicked. Or I don't know. We'll get to the bottom of it after the show. I don't know what happened. Don, who runs uh, 202, in general, does a very good job for us, but uh, we had a little problem with. Uh, with uh, the booking of a couple of guests recently, and then and one of them is outside the studio waiting to come in for for a very exciting interview from your pals Opie and Anthony and Jim Morton. Right. I have no idea. So why don't we get Flight Paris in here and we'll see where it goes. All right. Don thinks we could just well, make radio gold out of anything, so we'll sure. give it a shot here, Anthony. Sure. <clears throat> Entering the studio, Flight Paris. Uh, just let them. Aaron, sit over there. Just don't touch Anthony, please. Why? Because he's got his own problems. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no one touch. There, you. I go crazy. You sit over there. So I can't give you a hug? No. no. There's nothing going on here. Maybe we'll have. I don't get. Don't make a fucking maniac out of me. Maybe we'll have you interview Flight Paris. Now I want to touch you. What? Now I'm getting OCD about touching you. No, there's no touching. <laughs> I swear to God, get the fuck away from me. I will kill you. I will fucking kill you. Let me tap I'll your arm. I'll fucking kill you. Let me tap your arm. Paul, Paul, get in here. He doesn't like being touched. Master Paul. Oh, wait, I'm going to get I'll have her fucking taken out. I swear, he she will be killed. Hit her with some expert. No one touches me. He doesn't like being touched. No hug? No hug, no touching. Why? Because I'm a fucking mental patient. Does Opie get to touch you? 
<laughs> no, no one touches Anthony. What about your girlfriend? I've known Anthony for ten years. We almost hugged That's once. That's all. You know who I? Do you sanitize her first? My How does she touch girlfriend, you? my mommy. Um, who else can touch me? Sometimes we like no uh, we'll do. Me. Sometimes we'll do a little. Uh, uh, not even a handshake, a little, hey, how you doing? A yeah. little, uh, almost a high five. Any yeah. contact with the high five or not? Barely. Barely. No one touches Anthony, ever. I don't like being touched <laughs> by strangers. I don't know people. I don't know you. I don't I don't like... Uh, but she doesn't have any germs, Anthony. I'm not. It's not germs. What is it? I don't... I washed <laughs> the blood off my hands just now. That you might be it. the gum in your mouth. I'll and shake it is hands. now in your hand. No. no. I I'll saw you wipe your <laughs> pussy with the fucking toilet paper. I washed right here my in the hands. Door. I didn't see you wash your hands. Mm-hmm. And now you have the gum that was in your mouth <laughs> in your hand as you're talking. Well, I could shake with the right. Real There's sense. no shaking. Real sense. There's no shaking. I gave her a hug kiss hello. No <laughs> kissing, no shaking, no touching. I gave her a hug hello. Can I we rub elbows? Good for you. Can we rub elbows? No. No. There's nothing. Now you have the gum that was How in your about, mouth in your hand. What, do you think I have, like, HIV or something? I don't know and, shit. But there's a problem here because now her OCD's kicked in. Yeah, now I'm obsessed with you. How about you guys touch feet? No. <laughs> Can't we touch some part of skin to skin? No. <laughs> oh, cool shirt. The penguin foot brand. Foot foot. How about a foot to foot? Mouse to foot. Anthony's getting ready to jump out the window. Come on, let's back in the hand. Best, no, best no. pose in the middle of Anthony High five. and, and no. uh, Jim Norton's ex. I don't. He, Anthony, she's, she's clean. No. She went out with Jim Norton for a year. I am. <laughs> I wore a condom the first time. Come on. You, you, let, <laughs> you let Muffin this. shake your and, hand. And I love this. I haven't been able to instigate in a long you time. You would let no. Muffin shake your hand, but not me. I've never shaken Jimmy's hand. Never. Ever? No. I don't think I've ever touched Jimmy. We brushed you touched him. Barely. I've known Anthony for... I touched my leg. I think... Uh, no. Touch I've known Anthony leg. for 10 touching. years, and did we hug once, maybe, when we got fired? You can't... Someone t- would have had to have died. <laughs> That's the only way what I could imagine. What about a breast? Will you touch a breast? No, I'm not touching. <laughs> a knee. Tap me on the knee. Pat on the head. Pat I'm on the not, head. I'm not touching. Come on. Anthony, There's just, no... Look, she has no panties on. Just oh, come touching. on. No shit, she's got no panties on. She's got no panties? Can't, no panties? Can't, no. I, can't I do you down to a pat on the head? Come on. No. Hey, Flight Paris. Uh, uh, just fight Paris. Fight Paris. Uh, flight. Fight. <laughs> fight. I mean, why am I saying flight? I'm sorry, guys. The, cool, wait. Man. Hey. She's reaching her hand I over. I swear to she's, God. She's less than two feet away from... Right I got, you know something, though? I got Poe between us, so Please, I know I everything's I just spent last night in a hospital. Life's been hard. I'm, un, I'm, I'm... How many germs are in a hospital? I'm under indictment. <laughs> Please. 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 No. Anthony, I feel like you'll give me good luck if you if you just touch me. It'll take a second no, out of what? your life. No, I don't touch people. Just touch her fingertips. No. Touch? Come touch. on. Look at no. right there. I'm OCDing no. out. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay, he touched you. No. 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 Anthony. All right, well. You will have to continue going nuts. I don't <laughs> touch people. And I especially don't touch touch women uh, that I watch wipe. Uh, I uh, just wash my hand. I don't Want to smell my hand? No. <laughs> was it with the Lysol or the toilet paper? No, she I was went toilet wa- paper. I went and washed In my that hand. seat. She's not wearing She's not wearing panties. I and, went and I washed and my she, hands. Hold on. Let bathroom. me explain to the band Fight Paris what's going on here. Fight or flight? It's fight. Fight? fight. fight. <laughs> like you want to fight. fight Paris Hilton? No. Exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out what that's all about in a second. But let me l- get everything up to speed here. This uh, cuckoo is his ex, Jim Norton's ex. My ex. They used to go out. But they don't anymore. There's a whole another thing going on with another ex, and she came in. She's not wearing panties. So then we all went to the bathroom to take leaks. She decided she needed to take a leak in the men's room. I left. She took a leak in front of Jimmy. Then I she came it. back in here and, and just kind of wiped up in front of everybody. Could, uh, there wasn't any toilet paper in the men's room, yeah. so I was still a little drippy. Studio to wipe. Huh? Well, we, there was toilet paper there. I was still a little drippy. Oh, I, still just, I just a little dab. Just you guys, a dab, not a wipe. Just a dab. Just a dab. Would you show the band the goods? What? Yeah, the, the goods? goods? Yeah. The goods. No, I already did the handstand. Did you get a picture? What? No, because we're not allowed to really take pictures of you. Well, she's hot, right, boys? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. You want to do a headstand for the guys? Yeah, you can do handstands. Yes. No, she'll do a headstand. She's okay. really good at yoga, so. Ooh, nice. What the hell? What are you, what are you doing? tying up. 
No, we don't want you to tie up. All right, whatever. Long Come on, be a trooper. This is no pictures. Right? No pictures. All right, fellas. Muffin, what do you think? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to sure. yeah. Should I tie the skirt or what? Jim Norton. I can't wait for the Photoshop. Jim Norton's uh, <laughs> little pet name is Muffin. So what? It's cute. All right, there you go, guys. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> They're all nice. Ladies. All right, but the, don't pay attention to that. Just look at the form of the headstand. <laughs> right, look, very straight. Perfect posture. Yeah, very good posture. See, there yeah. you go. Right leg, left oh. leg, split. Wow, wow. wow. Yeah. wow. Look at that. It's whistling. Right. <laughs> it's whistling. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be a dancer, would you? No. Wow. I am a good dancer. All right, there you go. So, Fight Paris is in studio. You're right, there, Anthony? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. That was a nice handstand. Headstand, my bad. Headstand. Was Headstand. Really nice. Headstand. Yeah, huge difference. I got skills, baby. Oh, shit. Skills of people. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Oh, Christ on a pony. <laughs> She's insane. Now there were, this girl a, opened. You, you she is so up? fucking insane. Oh, I know. I love it. I don't. <laughs> I know you don't. That's, that's why I'm being this guy. Guy. Now, they're, now her that's and Jimmy are telling room. secrets. What is she telling you, Jimmy? It's a secret. Yeah, I think he won't tell. I secrets think don't make friends. Really? I think he'll yeah, secrets I think he'll, are no good. I think he'll keep it between us. Yeah, yeah well. you're not going to share? You guys are setting up it for something? something? It was something at my behest that I requested. Behest. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> she likes to use the word behest in uh, her legal writings. Did you get me that well. stack of papers over there? Hold up. Uh, uh -oh. Which one? There's like yeah. plenty of it. <laughs> it's an OCD <laughs> thing. Just give her her papers, please. Okay. She's There's been known to stab people. <laughs> give me my papers. Sad. You guys think you're a crazy uh, and, band. Uh, You've met your match, well, trust what me. What is the legal agreement? I, I, I know, that. you need the legal. Where is the legal agreement? I think I ripped that up, actually. I'm not even you kidding. did not. Shut up. All right, right. <laughs> I mean, I got him to sign that I when know, he, here, here, here. he was overdosing. You may not sign that again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, you did not. Oh, Jesus <laughs> what <do you> think <laughs> of See, I didn't write being of sound mind and body, so it doesn't matter. No, there it is. at her ODing. behest. There it is in front of you, right? He's being carried <laughs> out. I'm handing him a pen, moving his hand. Sign here. <laughs> well, we usually do a regular radio show, but today it's a little nuts, so. A little special. All right, a little bit. Just a tad. You all right now? I, I feel like you don't like me, and that kind of hurts. No, I don't like anybody. That's just me. Yeah, you can't get mad at him for that. You have a girl. You don't like anybody. It's I wouldn't you. touch these yeah. guys. You like Opie. I tolerate Opie. Opie. Yeah, we tolerate each other. <laughs> it's not really a like thing. And anyway, Steve is an ass. Everyone knows that. I don't. Uh, I, it, it, don't take it so personally. And Poe is just the throw his body in front of a bullet guy. Well, we I already forgot what we were talking about. So did I. All right. You wanted to touch Ant, but I guess we can I move on now. I still do. I mean, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm still, that's still on the forefront of my mind. Is that, I understand I that. I guess I'll have to touch myself instead or touch Muffin. Anthony feels good, though. Oh, she's going to touch him off now. Have you touched him? Many times. <laughs> never. You're the only he's person that hasn't touched me. Hasn't Can touched I take your pulse? He's never touched Anthony? me. Anthony? What? Pulse? Take your pulse? No. There's no pulsing. There's no oh, respiratory testing. There's no looking into my eyes. There's... No are touching. Those, when, when he od last night, are those ENT guys actually cops? Because I assaulted three of them. And I didn't realize that they oh. had handcuffs on them. Are they cops or no? EMTs? Who did they, they, last night? Yeah, they're cops. Why would you assault All right, the emergency? This, this guy is like practically my my fiance. I was living with but him. But they're there to help. They won't let with me. With no ulterior motive he's, he's, whatsoever. They guns. Dude, they're they're right. Right. There's no scam they going on. Me. When they show up, they are there... To just help the best they can this the person that happened. is injured. Is my my so friend was there. The my friend. Says, Why would you hurt them? Because my friend says, "Oh, I'm his, I'm his sister." My friend barely knows him. They let her go it with him, and they were trying to keep it, like me from going with him. And he's like, "Oding, asking for me." Family member, right? Yeah. So you know. What do you OD on? Um, I don't know, because I wasn't. I broke up with him, and I don't know what he, what he took. I left. He got you upset. You just there to punch the paramedics because you broke up with him. Yeah, just there to what? beat up the paramedics. <laughs> I believe so. You broke up with him and just sit him on the spiral. Down um, there. yeah. He, so it's all your fault. He's done this two nights in a row now. So how do you feel? I had to call. I was just trying to get you know in the car with him, uh -huh. and they wouldn't let me. And they were trying to push me out of the elevator, and one of them like grabbed me. 
So I lifted up and I kicked the other one in the balls. I got one Ooh, in the face and got a like why face would bloody. You do this? And then they I got are the other trying one to help. I made it in the elevator. I was almost there. <laughs> they are there to help. <laughs> and then they won. There, but there was like six of them. And they won. Yes. Yeah, and then they took out handcuffs, and I figure out, you know, I was arrested last week. Yeah. Let yeah. it go. Once who, a week's good. Who wants to be arrested more than once a week? I, I haven't been arrested in like ten years. I find that hard to believe. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I got my last real big, like, uh, Do you have a question for Fight Paris? Um, what do you all do? Uh, we play, we play rock, rock and roll, and roll music. Maybe. Uh, who, who would you compare yourselves to? What kind of rock? Um, are you grungy rock? Or are you no, grungy? it's like southern rock. Really heavy, though. Southern yeah. rock? Yeah. So, like Kronk? Yeah, we're from Atlanta. Oh, yeah. It's, what yeah, is that? It's we are from the ATO. A bit of that. Yeah, do you have, like, some, some <laughs> funk, some soul? Uh, no. All right. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> none of that so pesky stuff. Very, <laughs> very white rock. Very, yeah, yeah. very white. Yeah. Are you, are you anti-black at all? No, 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 not at all. Man. No, okay. Ben, we'll have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, anti. Oh, it's shit. inappropriate. <laughs> Understand? It's a joke. Is that what the bell means? Yeah, it's the inappropriate bell. Oh. It clears everything up. We've noticed in our ten or so years broadcasting, you could say the most horrific, horrifically racist thing. As long as you go and acknowledge that it was very inappropriate, just yeah, people seem to leave it alone. Said. Just kind of clean. It erases it. It's like I, we understand it's bad. It has now been acknowledged but as being such. It's a confession yeah. bell. Yeah, almost. Yeah. All right. You, yeah. Do you have a confession? Um. Give us a good one. Confess something right now on the show. Okay. No well, one knows your real name. So. When I stabbed my ex-boyfriend, yeah. Um, oh, God. I knew he was not going to financially support me after that. So you this, stabbed him? Well, no, 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 no. There's a whole other story. So yeah, I stabbed silly. Him, yeah. on, the, on the way out, <laughs> what was that? He thing? had promised me some financial, you know, things back then, and I knew after I stabbed him, he wasn't going to do it. On the way out, I took his checkbook and I wrote myself a check for thirty thousand dollars, and it cleared. It cleared it. <laughs> it God, and damn. it cleared. No, that's a good confession. You, you wrote a check for 30000 Yes. For what? For me. Oh, cash? Knives. No, for... What do you mean? Like, what was the check for 30000 for? For me. Oh, he gave it to you? No, I stole his checkbook. When I oh, and you forged his signature. Well, stabbed the dude. I and then signed his signature. Him. You signed his signature, and then you cashed the check and got thirty grand. <laughs> Jesus. Good God. <laughs> I'd also gotten 20. How's that guy doing? Did he try to OD? Same guy. Same guy. Oh, wow. Same guy. Oh, that might explain it. You're fucking me. robbing him, stabbing him. This got me 50 grand. You just sent him over the edge. What, what got you 50 crazy. grand? He oh. is completely <laughs> insane. He promised me to, because he, I, you know, I was living with another boyfriend who owned the real estate company. This was my real estate client. So obviously I, I ran off with the client. I wanted to switch jobs. So he promised me 20 grand to live on while I found another job and 30 grand for a project I wanted to do. Um, and then I ran into my ex-boyfriend who I had been cheating on and had just left. And I saw him for the first time. He wanted an explanation. So I sat down with him, had dinner, and just, you know, just to told the truth, and, you know, came clean because sure. he, he already knew. So then I had no reason to lie to my boyfriend about this. I just said I felt like I owed him an explanation. And he said, well, you just ate yourself a $50,000 dinner, meaning he's not going to give me the money you promised me. So then I took a bottle of Xanax and carved help in my arm with a razor blade and burned myself. And then on uh, Monday, he went to the bank and gave me my 50. I got it one way or another. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Beats all that pesky loan paperwork. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Ah. Some Xanax, some... A little razor blade. Can you still nice. see the help in the arm? Yeah. I mean, okay. it did put a strain on our relationship out there. Yeah, yeah, a little I bit. See that, that happens. Might be a problem. Just yeah. a little. I think if you say you're I got to tell you something, though. Hmm. Anthony was touched by that story, and I think he now needs a little hug. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Eyes. You can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can still see the help on my arm. Anthony, do you want to see the help? Yeah. I won't. I, won't I don't even care. Right, show <laughs> Anthony. I, I, I don't even care. I'm an honorable person when I make a I don't even care. I just want you to verify. I will not touch care you. Not. We're going to do a don't trust care. thing. I will, they ask. Right I will not touch you. I want, Fight Paris asks I want Anthony if the help is still in the arm. I w I show promise Fight Paris. I won't touch you. I won't sneak a touch. Share Fight Paris. I want to prove my... my Share Fight Paris. I want to prove my character Sir, as an honorable human band. being. That He'd probably like that if he saw it. Anthony would like that if he saw it. Anthony, I promise. Hold I'm it up right there. 
You can't. No. Hold it right there. You got to get it right there. You got to get it right there. Hold 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 it right there. Oh, she's trying to get through Master Poe, but I don't think that's going to Very good. Can you see it, Anthony? Okay, I see. You sure you can see it from there? Yeah. Can you see it? It's a great view. He can't see it from there. I got it. I think you saw it. See, I burned myself there, and it's his health. Now, I remember this microphone yeah. will be removed from the studio <laughs> and spackled over yeah. the hole that was in. How could he see the that from seat so far away? Removed. No, he it will be put over in that yeah, corner. I now need a radius. Why was he so <laughs> far away? I need a away? radius. Let's fight Paris. Want to see help? You're gonna have your there own you room go. soon. Okay. Yeah, what do we got here? All right, she's now showing the band Fight Paris the the help. Okay. See it right there. Would you cover it in with a safety razor? And then I burned myself there. Yeah. Would you do that for 50000 cash? I think you would. Yeah, why not? Opie just yeah, has to so sit so here so and talk for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, like a normal, you know, middle class I just made 50000 answering 50, that. <laughs> 50000 cash is a lot of money, I and I figured, money. you know, I can uh, get it well lasered. Well worth it, right? I can get it lasered off. All right. Oh, Ask more wow. questions uh, to fight Paris, because we got to move on here. Okay, so... You are um, talking to the yeah. There you go. So you're not like a soul band. So would you say you're sort of like pro white? Pro white. What are you talking what? about? Oh, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. We're from Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> it was no, race. No, no Christian music. No, no. no, 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 no. Are you just, guys, just rock and roll music? You know. Do you guys no buyer, do you play out? You get a good gist. Yeah, we play out all the time. We're actually on tour right now with Ryan Dunn and Don Vito. Oh wow. And we uh we got a couple of days off. So what do they do on stage? Um, more than like. Don Vito pretty much uh, gets drunk and molests girls, you know, and uh, okay. Ryan Dunn just kind of like fucks with the audience, you know, brings people up on stage, gets drunk, gets and drunk. You know, just kicks, kicks them in the in balls, a... drinking contests, pretty... It's, it's, it's called the stupidest rock tour of the summer for a reason. It's pretty, you know it's pretty entertaining, Where'd actually. you get the name of the band, Fight Paris? Ooh. Ooh. We just kind of came up with it. Ooh. You kind of came yeah, up with it? Yeah, we were all, like, we spent like a week trying to figure out with names and like... That one was the only one we all liked. Was Paris like Hilton at all an inspiration? Um, no. What about the French? You know, they're kind of uh, tempestuous people. Yeah, we hate them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. a really big word. That's right. right. I liked it, too. Do you know, I, I know a you lot of... You should carve that really into your arm. Do you know what I majored what? in in college? <laughs> what? Instead of help. I, I, what did she say? I have a... Tempestuous. Oh, that is a big word. Go ahead. What, what were you doing What'd in college? Major? I had a triple major. And because I'm trying to finish school now, I didn't. E I, I was so coked out, I didn't even remember that I'd done four years of college. Nice. And I was the tutor <laughs> for a lot of these classes, and uh, I was a triple college major really in finance, goodies. chemical engineering, and psychology, all 4.0s. And I had four years of college under my belt, a semester left, and I left because you um, beat up the professor. No, I was a tutor for one of the <laughs> physics classes, and in the middle of my physics final, which I was the tutor for the class, the cops came in or the feds came in. <laughs> I knew the cops they, were involved. They cuffed me and dragged me out in the middle Who's of the thought? final, and they were they wouldn't leave me alone after that, so I left the state and never. Why would they drag you out of class? They caught me. Uh, they caught a. Uh, uh, well, you know, not me on my person, but they uh, alle like alleg the desk or allegedly, or like allegedly, <laughs> uh, allegedly, allegedly, I was in possession of uh, 75 pounds of marijuana with um, intent to sell, and because it came from allegedly from Mexico, uh, that's federal, not state. Hmm. You still got any of that? So they arrested <laughs> you. They did arrest me. Jesus. How hmm. do you allegedly have 75 pounds of marijuana? <laughs> you either like, you either have it or you don't. Like, how do, that's a lot of weed. Well, it, it, <laughs> it, weed. it wasn't that's found. Just like, it wasn't yeah, in a, in a place a that was actually something I owned. It was just, in, in just the, they believed it to be it mine. I see. So you didn't graduate. Well, I, they were following me everywhere. There were vans all over the place. I mean, it was black like, helicopters. You should no, have no. Coke. no, not like that. <laughs> there was a, a van that said Mike's Plumbing on it, and Someone I would go. Someone stirring the sauce. The, the, the Sopranos, like every day, they'd be in front of my You're house, take and the I'd, pod. I'd like bang on the window. I'm my lucky like, lithium. Okay. I, I'd bring on coffee and be like, "Have a nice day, asshole." And you know, they're they're in there with cameras. There's a Mike's Plumbing truck Jesus outside your house. That was really the Karen. They had Karen, the they wouldn't have found it. It was all we had. Oh, I had to snort at Henry. <laughs> 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 we needed that. They did let me keep the eight ball I had on me, though. They arrested me, and they let me keep my cocaine, and they let me do the cocaine. And I ended up having to get a restraining order against the lead federal investigator because he, and I got him on tape because he had a thing for me. 
So they took your pot, but they left the blow. <laughs> they took the, the 75000 yeah. And then tried to date you. <laughs> they well, they gave you an eight ball. They were trying to, like, be, you be cool afterwards. to me so I would admit <laughs> to things, you know. So, yeah, you keep your coke, you know. Let you do it. And the guy wanted to hook up with you, so you had a restraining order. Well, he, he wanted me to roll on on the big fella. Right. Mm, you don't do that, mm-hmm. though. What? You don't do that. It's nothing worse than a rat. All right. No. Back to Fight Fucking Paris. Fucking old family of Fight Paris. Nothing worse than a rat. Okay, so wow. you, you guys are Atlanta-based. Yeah, oh, yeah so born and raised. Atlanta. Ever are, beat are up any cops? No. No? no. I've never been caught with 75 pounds of... No pot, mm-hmm. no coke. No. Never beat up any pyramids. Restraining orders. Like that. No, Against not yet. Against any cops that try to hook up with you. <laughs> you, guys got, you guys got any good stories that match this uh, nut? This mm. nut? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, man. She's got some crazy. I mean, ones. are you guys like crazy rockers? You into, you do the drugs? Any of the drugs? You do any of the drugs? We do the drugs. Ah, uh, we, yeah, we, we like to have, have a good time at a party and yeah, yeah. cocaine, yeah. marijuana, what? Yeah, all that. Yeah, all that. Okay. Sure. X. X. A- a- yeah. Huffing X- gasoline. Yeah. No, I just did all that on the way. Mike it in. You like the Mike it in? Yeah. It's good shit. You want some? I have some money. You got some Mike? Can I get one? <laughs> <laughs> we got some whiskey if you want some whiskey. Whiskey? I don't drink whiskey. That's old school. It's, it's old pretty. School. <laughs> Booze is it old like school. like moonshine, though. It's pretty. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. We, um, God damn. <laughs> it's nasty. All right, a lot of people you say. You should come out to the show. Hold on. Where's the show? Yeah, where's the show? We're and playing in DC, DC on Friday. On Friday, where? Hello. At the Nation. At the Nation? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Yambag, yeah, North Carolina, what's up? Hey, man, this girl is full of shit, man. I mean, somebody's got to call her out instead of sitting there laughing at her, man. She's so full of shit. Why do you think that's her? I've been in law enforcement too damn long, man, to see some girl sit on there and talk like this, man. There's just no way. That's just bullshit. First off, they don't do Mike's plumbing in her front yard. <laughs> Mike's <laughs> plumbing. That, that was in Massachusetts. Cocaine when they arrest her, man. I'm There's sorry? No They're not going to sit there and let her do her cocaine while they're booking her, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what? When I when I first of all, they wouldn't even let me call my lawyer. They kept me in an alley for eight hours. And when I said, you know, I know my rights, I want to call my lawyer. They said, you have no rights. You've been watching too many movies. But the right to do blue. I'll sit there and take a lie detector test. Oh, Norton's known me for years, movies, and this is all down and out. Are you in law enforcement, sir? Um, yeah, that's what I previously stated. Um, yes. Yeah, so of course, you know, you you guys, you don't you don't. Bother You're all laws. in cahoots, Norton. What? Is she telling the truth? You know her pretty well. Uh, she's a, a borderline sociopath, but I've, I've <laughs> never known her to lie. Uh, I'm not saying never known her to lie, but about stuff like this. This is the same thing that she told me three or four years ago about something that happened. It ruined my life. That's why I had to leave school, because I was being followed around by feds. I have four years of school under my belt, and I got in a lot of trouble, and I left. Did you show him one of those handstands? <laughs> I couldn't do those. Things. I actually didn't want to date her at one point, because I was afraid that something was going to happen. Like, when I walked into the apartment... And there and was a duffel bag, uh, yeah. I, and I, I mean an army, like bag, laundry bag, like one of those big of, army bags, yeah, full of weed. It, it smelled like weed. I'm sure it wasn't, but it, I, I would walk in, and I'm recovery since 1987. I would smell weed. I'm like, I, what am I doing here? Someone's gonna come to kill her, or the fucking cops are gonna show up, and I'm gonna get arrested. Uh-huh. I walked into the room, and that's what was there. So there you go, thir- sir. That debunks that theory of Wait, yours. It was filled with weed. How are you moving? It was awful, weed? dude. I wouldn't even go to her apartment after a while Holy until it was gone. It was. It was said uh, allegedly. I never saw it, so I don't know what it was. It might have just been a funny smell. Uh, oh it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie in Dallas, what's up? Hey, what's up, brother? This is actually I'm from Nogales, which is on the Mexican border, one hour south of Tucson. Who gives a shit where you're from? Nogales? <laughs> I do, Maddie. I care. Oh, I okay, kind of care too. Thanks, brother. Right. The reason I brought that up is that being on the Mexican border, I'm a fed down here, and I'm calling Bravo Sierra on the story about that she was uh, extracted from her classroom because the uh, marijuana was from Mexico. That's completely irrelevant where it's from. It came through from California, so it made it a federal... It came from Mexico to California to Massachusetts, which made it a federal, Uh not a state matter. And I it has nothing to do with it because 96.3% of the marijuana that comes in from the United States is from Mexico. But these were not state agents. That's the real good shit. They were not state agents. They were feds. So you had some nasty shit. Right. But the reason that it may be a bit mad is because of the weight. See, what actually happened in the classroom... When you were extracted from the classroom, that was the people that you owed money to. They told you they were fed. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, that's what happened. I didn't owe money to anyone. From the classroom. Oh, right. Yeah, the people that extracted you from the classroom, that's the people you owed money to. No, I don't get my stuff on the arm, baby. I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know anyone. I don't believe in debt. People are asking, no, why were you going to school for chemical engineering? Um, 
I graduated high school at 15, and I didn't know, you know, at that age, who the hell knows what you want to do. I was really good in chemistry. So you picked chemical engineering out of a hat. I went to my chemistry no teacher. I said, I don't know what to do. She said, she said, you're great at chemistry. Be a chemical engineering major. Then I got interested in finance. So Could I made make crank. Can you make some crank? <laughs> that was actually, so you know what? LSD oh, my God. I just remember. Yeah. My initial reason was you know, I was dating a drug dealer at 15. Of course. Of course I was, at 15. Yeah, how old was he? Uh, 22, 23. Oh, nice. So he used to go down to 8th Street by where the head shops are. And, you know, you, no one will ever sell you pure cocaine. They always cut it up. Bastards. So they would. he would get this cut that would make your tongue numb and was almost like cocaine. So I wanted to go to chem engineering and learn to make a sy synthetic cocaine that was could fool anyone and was as good as real cocaine and make money off it. Okay. So that was my initial intent, and then I tripled up majors and had a 4 -0. To get Never mind a cure for synthetic or anything to make like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> diseases, <laughs> right? I want a synthetic cocaine. Well, well, that that would have made me a lot of money. <laughs> All right, the phones are just nuts. Mike, Pennsylvania, go ahead. Mike Gay. Um, All right. Uh, Dave, what do you have for the show today? Hey, uh, what I learned in the show today is this girl's out of her mind. No one lives this colorful of a life. Muffin, do I live this colorful of a life? Look, I, all I can say is this. Jimmy could vouch for her, man. The, uh, the, the, what she's telling you is the same things that I've... <laughs> seen and what she's told me over the years. It, the stories have never changed. Nothing has ever changed. Or, there's no inconsistency. Jimmy's seen enough to uh, to, yeah. to know that uh, it, this has got to be real, or at least most of it. So. Yeah, and this is stuff that we were talking about. There was ne it was never She was never telling me this stuff for a fact. We talked about this stuff in the car before or whatever, just, and it was never like, hey, guess what I did. It was very normal. No, I grew up. I had a tough life. I sort of... Colorful. Went, yeah, colorful. I maybe went a little wayward. And, you know, I'm, I'm a good-looking girl, so it's easy for me to attract, you know, whatever I want. And Did you get smaller implants, by the way? Yeah, I did. Good, yeah, good looking out. Yeah, they used to be really, uh, They're really, really tight and You big. know what happened? They, um, they what? They encapsulated, pop, right? yeah. and the, the tip of one oozing. of the implants started yeah. coming through the skin. It was You saw it, right? Oh, oh it was like this thing. Can we see the new job just to yeah. see how sure. it's... Yeah, we've got to make sure it's uh, you're doing okay with that. Guys, uh, you got a new job. Part. Yeah, they used to be oh, like. Do you want to feel them? They feel real. Yeah, Anthony. <laughs> no way! Stop it. <laughs> Anthony's first in line. Oh, want to feel them? They feel real. Jimmy will feel them. I want. Jimmy's I, I right want next Oak to you. To say, to say. No, Jimmy will. Can we feel, feel him? him? Why you're not allowed to feel him? You'll get in trouble. Jimmy will feel him. I'm shy. He's felt them like ten million times. Not the new one. Are there actual implants in there now? They feel good. Why wow, they feel real good? Is there an implant in there? Yeah, they feel real. Opie. Fight Paris, you want to uh, feel the boobs? I want boobs? Opie. No, because the audience trusts Opie. No, I, I can't. I, you went out with Jimmy. That's a, that's I a want whole Opie weird to thing. vouch for that they feel no, it's real. No, it's a whole weird Come thing. Come on, it's Opie. Two words <laughs> off for it's like, just walk no, around. No, and she's, she's right next to you, Anthony. She knows I'm a lunatic and won't touch anybody, but Anthony. you're the sensible one. Like Anthony, Anthony, come right on, now. Opie. He's right next to you. Okay. No, I better not. Why don't you just walk around and walk around and... Neither you make around you here. Know. You're He's yeah. just shy. He wants no, to. No, no, so no, come no. around <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like my current life, to be honest with you. Opie, so are I you serious? Lie. He wants to really bad. Yeah. Opie, just tell yeah. me if they feel real or not. Opie, they, just I tell her. How about the girl a favor? How about the Paris guy? No, I heard you the other day say you hate all implants. Right, no, Opie. You take a the other me. day. This is for the show. Fear for the so show. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Pussy. Well, pussy. Well, she is saying it's for the show. It's, it's for the show. show. <laughs> you went on and you said you hate all implants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how about this? Fill one. Uh, no, Fill one. Fill one could cost me some time. And how about fight Paris? No one. No one even knows that it's real. No you one knows. Just for the show. For the show. For the show. For the show. <laughs> Take one for, for the team. For the show. I just wowed some guy the other day. Anthony, I, uh, thanks for the payback. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> Fight Paris, how about you guys? You, you guys aren't pussies. You'll feel no, up some tits, I, right? No, because right, Opie's the, the one that said let he hates. Guys, the, the guys really said, want to feel the boobs. Yeah, but Opie's the one that said he hates all breast implants. He rock, feel her, feel her up. No, I want, want, he's the one that said it. So I want Opie to recant his words point. based on my breast implants. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm trying to be good actually, to be quite oh. honest with you. How about uh, how about the boys in the booth? 
No, Opie is the one that's. How about Fight Paris? How yeah, about Fight no, Paris? No, no, Opie is the one. Oh, when you guys are Opie, oh. when you guys have a discussion, uh, Opie's ruined the show. I don't want to Opie ruined it. <laughs> Opie did. How about one of the guys feels up? Uh, no, Aaron. no, Opie is the one that I'm said down. that he doesn't like yeah. any he implants. He's down, yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy's yeah. down. This guy's down. It's, it's not if every guy's down to feel me up. Those except guys are you. Yes, but you went on the air the other day and said yeah, you hated the breast implants. I know. I, I look pretty bad right now, but I, I, I should pass, I guess. <laughs> Jimmy, you think they feel real? I can't go yeah, from. They feel good. Real? Opie you. feels the tits. <laughs> Don't make a fucking maniac out of what me. What do you think? Opie feels the do tits. Do they look realistic? It, it, if Anthony hugs you, I'll I'll feel the boobs. Do they look realistic? <laughs> she won't be feeling any boobs. Oh. Oh, do they look real? <laughs> and I have a whole thing going on right oh, now. You suck. <laughs> Could you answer the question? What do, happened? Do they do they look real? I don't know. Uh, yeah, they, they look good. They look very good, actually. They look good. They look very good. The old ones I didn't like. They were too. They look too tight. So How you much don't bigger hate were old they? breast implants. Oh, like good question. How much bigger were they? Um, they were like double D's almost. The, yeah, wow. Yeah, these yeah. are these are C's now. Those are like full C's. Yeah, and they like, were they were full D's before. You're, you got like a 36 C working now. 34 C. 34 C. And they okay. looked bigger before because they were encapsulated. Yeah. I hate when that happens. You should yeah. elaborate on that a little more. What, what does that, that do? That is, um, it's a keratin sheath forms around, or is it, it's scar tissue. It forms around the implant, and it starts squeezing the implant, and it makes it hard. And the way it shaped my right one is, you know what a breast implant looks like. You've seen one outside yeah. of a person. It folded it sort of in half, and it started coming through the skin. So you uh. punched your doctor in the face. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be no, a good I, idea. I, I ended up spending $20,000 on two boob jobs. Wow. Mm. Uh, you watch The Simpsons? Uh, sometimes. Al Not Jean. really. Yes. Executive producer of The Simpsons on the phone. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. We got a very good. We got a real mess of a radio show uh, <laughs> happening, and, and, and you called right in the middle of it. We got a, a, a broad that is uh, definitely insane in studio. What was that? I don't think I'm insane. Al, I'm, I'm here. Oh, okay, and then we got a band called uh, Fight Paris in studio. Well, I hope I can clean things up. <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm actually lying in bed with a phone in my hand. With a phone in your hand. You're calling from L.A.? Yeah, 7 a.m. here. All right. Um, Aaron, you got a question for Al Jean. Uh, Aaron's a big Simpsons fan. Aaron? Are they still making The Simpsons anymore, or is it over? <laughs> it's not over. We're starting season 17 this Sunday, uh, and it's an excellent season. For, for the first time in a few years, we're actually starting with new episodes before Halloween. I got a question for you. When are the kids going to grow up? Never. We I, kinda, I always hated that about cartoons. Why can't the why can't people like get older in cartoons? Well, I think that if you look at a show like Family Ties, where the little girl suddenly she's like, you know, thirty five years old, and looks kind of weird. Teeny yeah. others. I think rather that the kids stay the same, I think it's much more, uh, you know, keeping with nah. what the show always was that you people like. You could bring in like a cousin Oliver, a little kid, as as the other ones get older. We did it once as a joke, and you could see that that was just the worst possible thing. <laughs> so we immediately got rid of the of character. Was, yeah, you know, he just wanted the show to be the same that you know people have liked for years. Hey, do do one of the voices, Al. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Doctor Nick. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? What was that? Not bad for that uh, being. Yeah, Wait, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, I have a question. All right, Aaron, I, who loves Coke. Mm, yeah, mm, I, I don't love Coke anymore. Right. No, I, no. I just had Coke now. It just ruined my life. Yeah. Um, yeah, just marijuana. Henry Hill has a question for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, she only does pills now, so no, she's he doing was much a better. rat. I'm not a rat. Right. Um, I heard one of the Simpson characters was going to uh, come out of the closet. That, that, that already happened. It was Homer's sister-in-law, Patty. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping that you were, would make me the lesbian love interest. Wow. It's too late. It actually, the twist was that the, the woman she thought she was marrying turned out to be a man, so she I broke heard, it off. I heard someone's going to shoot uh, Mr. Episode. Burns. <laughs> 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 that was Maggie. Well, do you have a use for me on the show? I, I could play a part. Yeah, she's got a very uh, hot voice. I can hear. Uh, well, we'll keep it in mind. Yeah. Have you been there since the beginning? Yep, since it was a series uh, in 1989, the first uh, half-hour episode. Al, what do you do for the show? I mean, you're the... I'm, I'm the head writer. Oh, you're the head writer. I oh, you are. Oh, all right. 
Because right. when it says executive producer, isn't that usually the guy that just kind of... Make sure the money keeps coming in. Yeah, just kind of sits shit. at a big desk and just nods a lot. And says, All the yeah, paperwork and has nothing to do with the creative process. <laughs> there are executive producers who do that, but no, my, uh, my function is head writer. I mean, if, if there's something that goes wrong on the show, it's my fault. You're a hands-on guy. Oh, you're, yeah. you're yeah, I got a question, a question. I heard something about a Simpsons movie. Ooh. Oh, very good question. Simpson movie? We're working on it, but I, I can't say you know when or even if it'll come out. Really? My friend, a friend of mine is a big Simpsons fan. I have a question for you. A lot of people were saying that, like, do you feel that the show started, I mean, like, you know, it's so long ago and the success has been good. Do you feel like that the storylines, like, when you, when, you, when you have to keep something going for so long, like, a lot of times that that will morph in, into, like, something? Or do you, do you find that a lot of times, like, you have to digress and, like, everything just kind of, you know, right. changes a bit? Right. Well, you know, shows like... Um what would an example be? Like Dynasty in the 80s. Uh, you know, they definitely took so many twists that by the end people were saying, I can't follow it anymore. It's gotten too insane. Uh, but, you know, we don't do uh, running storylines. Uh, you know, we really look at it as if you had a great idea from season 16, it could fit right into season 3. Um, and, you know, even if we do something that people don't quite think is the greatest, the next week we can go back and do something great again. So, really, I think there is an incredible consistency that we have and a, a desire that you, you really don't think of these seasons as having arcs or changes in them. Yeah. Did you, uh, what do you say to the people that say, uh, oh, the show sucks now? Do you get a lot of that? I think actually a lot of it is that people um, remember things more fondly because they were happier years ago. <laughs> yeah. And that... Um, you know, the current show still does quite well in the ratings, and, uh, you know, I think like anything, no one ever goes, oh, things are better today than they were 10 years ago. Everyone's always nostalgic for the past, but I think that our level is still very high. Yeah, I mean, you got to compete against Family Guy now and... Well, and ourselves in 380 episodes that we've done. Oh, that's true, yeah. You know, uh, and, you know, yes, and shows like King of the Hill, so there's there's a lot of... Uh, stuff that we're competing with that we didn't at the beginning, but whatever. I, I'm proud of what we do now. I think it holds its own. You like the Family Guy? Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. And uh, and how many more years for The Simpsons? Are you thinking? Well, uh, I think we'll definitely do this coming season and season 18. Uh, the cast is signed through season 19. After that, I don't know. If the cast didn't want to do it. Well, if you get to 19, you got to make it an even 20, don't you? I know. Then we tie Gunsmoke for the longest running show ever. So. And yeah, then you go 20 years and call it a day. Well, uh, there's, a, there's a chance we might, I, I, you know, as long as we can keep thinking of stories. Was Gunsmoke 20 years? Yep. Someone told me that that was like they had like a time where they, it, was, it wasn't mm -hmm. going to be 20 years, that they thought it was going to be like shorter. Yeah, that's, it, it, what happened with Gunsmoke is it was going down in the ratings and they switched it to Monday nights and it went back up and they got 20 years. Right. And yeah. after, after them, we're number two. Nobody else has gone 17. We're a little distracted because Aaron, who's uh, the ex-girlfriend of Jim Norton and, and an ex-Coke uh, Coke lady, uh, yeah, is now... is a Coke whore. A Coke whore. Is, but I could always afford it. She's so. she's putting her panties back on. So. Oh, Actually, no. no, no, no wow, panties. Panties. This is a normal day at the office the there, Alfred. Well, I'm lying here in my sweatsuit. I hope that's mildly exciting. Ooh, sexy. Ooh, Ooh yeah. You wearing underpants? What do you think, Mom? Uh, no. Yes. Boomers. All right, she's showing off the uh, Opie and Anthony panties. I didn't even know we had this as a uh, item that, <laughs> I that you could some purchase. Should have some thongs. Too bad she doesn't. We don't have she Simpson does. panties for her. Oh, I'll wear Simpson panties. All right, you got another question for Al Jean. He's a very, very famous and rich guy and very busy there. I see you did uh, Children of a Lesser God. I wrote a show called Children of a Lesser Clod, where Homer opened. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a little different. <laughs> a little different. Uh, uh, just a tad different. <laughs> Alf, you did Alf. I did work on Alf. I I love Alf. Yeah, that was a funny show. I used to have um, um, an Alf. Had a few things since then. What, what, what I had an Alf stuffed toy, and you know it has like the long nose. It was one of the first things I I, I learned to use to get myself off oh, when I was oh, God, years old. Wow. Um, you know, it's got that great nose. Yeah, oh, when you were working so on... It's funny, I had a feeling that was the way, the way <laughs> you were going to go very, with that. Oh, Al, Alf did love pussy. He was always trying to eat the cat, wasn't he? Al, it's true. Yeah. He was always trying to eat yeah, the cat. So Al, it's kind of appropriate. I have to get you guys to drop. What? Thank you. Oh. 
Uh, no, thank oh, you. Oh, they didn't like that. Uh, was that another the, fucking publicist? The publicist. Oh, that what that was? She yeah, was, like, came on. And didn't like what? what she was hearing. I thought there's no censorship here. No, it's not. It's not us. It's the public. It's another publicist. The guy does The Simpsons, which is a very let's be honest, it's an edgy show for TV. Yeah. A lot of the content it's they've covered is edgy. It's yeah. been edgy since it started, and she says something Al? about that on uncensored. Mm, Al. Al, what happened? Jerk off to The Simpsons, though. It was Al. Al, are you still here? I'm still here. Oh, you're still here. Who's what the... happened to... What, who was that lady in the background? Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, you can handle a question like that, right? It sounded like it was a, a, a publicist uh, panicking on us. Al had that great nose, like Gonzo. Oh, that's for long. I, I've done nothing to Lisa or Marge or Bart or the whole rest of the Simpsons family or the dude across the street. <laughs> it was just Al. Right. I mean, it was it was... I think Al Jean is a, horrified today. A really but, helpful uh, I do, learning I do tool. To get going. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I, I thought I do actually have to move on to my next interview. But he's got another I, well, interview. Well, at least I respect you for coming back. At least I mean, you know, this is real life. I, we didn't know she was going to talk about uh, how she pleasured herself with the Alf doll when she was growing up. Yeah, <laughs> I really it's, enjoyed it's, the Gary Shandling, Shandling show. It's so real and shocking. Oh, don't even get into Gary Shandling. I no, I, I thought that had some good content. Quality show. Right. Oh, thank you very much. She wants to masturbate with a Jeffrey Tambor figurine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's it for me. All right, All right Al, thank, you. Thank, thank you. thank you. All right, there he goes. Sorry if I offended anyone. The no executive problem. producer of uh, The Simpsons, Jesus Anthony. Christ. I guess I'm not going to be a guest star on The Simpsons now. Did you what? hear that? Publicist the the publicists in. are the worst. All right, man. enough. Well, well, look at yeah. look at what's going on with Tom Cruise though. If he didn't uh -oh. like hire his publicist like an ass and hire his sister, yeah. the world wouldn't know that he's a raving lunatic. Yeah, they do protect you sometimes, but for shit like this, it's just like that being a fucking baby. Look who's calling Tom Cruise a lunatic. <laughs> That's a good right. point. Oh, he's <laughs> not crazier than I am. All right, let's go uh, to California. Yeah. I say neck and neck down the stretch. At least I know I'm crazy. Photo finish. <laughs> Tom Cruise by a nose. I'm into Matthew. Scientology. I once stabbed the next boyfriend. Well, you know, it's fucking good. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you guys are going back Pretty and forth close. for a while there. Matthew, California, you know what's the up? What's up, Bruce? Hey, man. Hey, man. I wanted to tell a story about some rock and roll debauchery that featured Fight Paris. All right. What happened? You there? The phone just well, Kelly. <laughs> awesome story. Well, Dude, that was yeah. huh? enthralling. Awesome Amazing. What was that guy's name? Matthew. Fantastic. Did you guys get in a fight or something or get your asses kicked? I, I think know. that's the road he was going down. Uh, they say, got in a fight, but not got your we asses got kicked. We got in a few fights. Yeah, we got in yeah. a few fights. I don't really recall well, getting the my audience ass kicked or? in California. No. But, nah. Well, do you what? know what that story is about? I actually know. Oh. Oh. We actually, it could be a few things, but. In 2004, we lived out in California for like seven months, so like. Yeah. And. Very a lot, of, a lot of stuff went down. So uh, very you got in fights, didn't get your ass kicked. No. Right. We got in a fight with a singer from another band. Me and Kevin did. What band? Uh, a band, band called Quitter. They're not around anymore. They, everyone quit. They were quitters. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Of course they did. <laughs> so yeah, he was just talking some mad shit. And he was just like a geeky looking guy with glasses. And yeah. I thought it was funny that he was like Apparently trying to... Apparently he hit on his girlfriend. Like we talked to his girlfriend. He didn't like that too much. Uh, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, all like talking you know. to someone's girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, I do it every time. Oh yeah. Hey, pound pound oh, yeah. All right. Well, what, was I gonna call back? Yeah. well what are we uh, yeah, what are we promoting today, guys? Because we got a Paradise Found. Oh yeah. Record. Debut album, record. Paradise Found. Yeah. Trust Kill Records. Okay. Been out for about a Debut. Month. Are you yeah. you're signed? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You want to give me a CD Sounds too? Source. Um. For what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she'll pleasure. What? She'll pleasure herself with it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing on that? that was it's no Alf news, but... No. It, yeah, and we're on tour right now with uh, Ryan, John, and Don Vito. Right, right. Did, can they, did they explain why they stood us up? They were supposed to come in two days in a row. They didn't come or call. Is Bastard. that the American Idol kid, Ryan Dunn? Yeah, can we call, the, <laughs> no. can we call Don Vito He's right now? Jackass. I don't know yeah, if Vito's got an like, MTV show coming out. Oh, be really? Awake. Huh? Chances are he won't be awake. Don Vito just yeah, well, gets yeah. drunk all day. He's just a drunk? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty drunk. You guys are young. How old are you? Well, I'm 23. 22. Oh, wow, you look younger. 21. Old, 21. old enough. Yeah. yeah. No, you look, you look very nasty thing, I saw him so far on the tour. He's just like nasty, dirty old man, you know. Like, yeah. And uh, one night on the tour bus, he had this one girl doing her. She's on him, riding him. Vito? Vito, yeah. No, he gets he gets pussy like And he's every night. really fucking her, not just. Oh, yeah. No, 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 she, she's fucking her. And then her two brothers Jesus. are licking his toes while that's going on. <laughs> And they're videotaping, and there's no guys shit. standing around, like, laughing. And, yeah, like, oh, that's really fucked up. That's yeah. great. No, he, 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 he pulls ass, like, you wouldn't believe And you guys don't have his number? Let's try to call him. A, a girl I know, actually. I've, I just got a photo of a girl I know was on a tour bus in, in some state and allegedly uh, 
one of those gentlemen gave her, not you guys, but one of the other gentlemen gave her oral sex. Really? Oh, he whacked his bag, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. She sent me a picture where she's flashing. Oh, that wasn't nice. surprising. I don't know. It's that dumb oh, dumb Dito who just can't call us. All right. Too busy mentally scarring young girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fucking homoerotic brother lick your toes. Say enjoy your show on a fucking cable network. Let's go to Sacramento. Matt, what's going on? Hey, I got cut off. Sorry about that. That was you. All right. Good. Um, yeah, they they told the story right. Basically, they, they got in a fight with uh, a band called Quitter, and they were... The Quitter is called it, a right? bunch of total Depeche Mode listening to pussies. Mm, yeah. And... They had it switched around though, because Quitter actually beat them up, and it was pretty oh, goddamn wow. hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. Really? Don't know yeah. about that. True. Uh, Quitter got true Quitter guy got pretty much uh, sucker punch in the face, yeah, and his glasses got broken. Got so I don't think nobody got their ass kicked. Uh, I don't How's know. Quitter doing though? We're right? not How's kicking Quitter ass doing? anywhere, Opie. Well, maybe if Quitter, Quitter have a good show with there. those guys, boys. All right, that's cool. All right, all right. I had a fight one time with a guy because, like, we were playing chess. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you touched your knight. He's like, no, I didn't. And we went back and forth, man. Oh, man, that sucks. You got to hit him, man. No, no, no. It was actually just the... Oh, uh, that was it? Yeah. All right. We got to move <laughs> on to fight. these freaks outside the uh, studio. Right. Those girls? Yeah. yeah. They brought in some stuff, I don't know, for our oh, auction or whatever. Fun. So it's Fight Paris. You got a website? Yeah. FightParis.com. FightParis.com. Yeah. You're yeah. playing yeah. Washington when? Friday night. Friday night. Where? Okay. At uh, Nation. At Nation. So if you're in that area, check it out. And the new CD is called uh, Paradise Found. Out in stores everywhere. Right on. It doesn't come with. It doesn't come with the CD case. No, we were very excited. This is really <laughs> your. Wait, is that just is that just the CD that you burn on your computer? I swear to God. No, 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 no it's just, it just doesn't have the book. Do you have one yeah. for me, guys? It's really early. You guys bring one CD with no case? <laughs> 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 Holy shit! You've been up drinking all night, man. Sorry. Yeah, you're lucky I br actually brought a disc. They, they took this out of their car. Wow, <laughs> that's what happened, right? It was out of my CD book. Uh, Pass it out. All right, right on. It's Fight Paris. We're gonna step aside for a few minutes and we'll continue. Okay. Boobs always bring this uh, show to us. Oh my God! What a day! <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony program on this fine right. Whip'em Out Wednesday. Lots going on. Yeah, it's a mess of a show today, that's for sure. Uh, I want to thank Al Jean uh, for calling the thing. show and getting horrified by Norton's ex-girlfriend, who cla uh, claimed she admitted to Al Jean, who worked on the Alf show, that she indeed pleasured herself as a little little girl with the Alf doll. Alf doll. <laughs> that uh, didn't go too well. That's nah, not going to help us get pissed. better guests. <laughs> he didn't seem to be very happy with the whole interview. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Interview. Stop it. In studio, we have Ron and Fez. They start up on 202 uh, Monday. Right? You know, I, I just want to say, the interview you guys did with Safe Ferris was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what a band. <laughs> Here's what's killing me, though. I'm at my house. I'm listening to it. And, Opie, most of these things everybody in radio thinks, yeah. but you don't say out loud, like... Oh, Jesus, we got to do an interview with this band we've never uh, heard of before. Yeah. Six months, nobody will care. How many of those have you been in and you try to fake your a way million. through? A yeah. A million. You just lie. Yeah. I sit there, hey, so how's it going, guys? Well, you know, it's real. Oh. The road? Is that road hard? The road. Yeah. When are you getting back in the studio? Yeah. You hoping uh, to get things going again? What are your influences? How you doing, my man? Watch out for her, Ronnie. She's uh, not... She's, uh... I brought a bag of peanuts. Did ya? <laughs> <laughs> She'll check you for allergies. <laughs> uh, Aaron, what's wrong, Aaron? You all right? You want to do news? Do I, do I have no seat? Well, you yeah, have this one right You here. sit on the couch. No, I, no, 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 sit on Fez's lap. Yeah, God, sit with Fez. He would really enjoy it. Oh, is that Fez? It. Yeah. Fez? Yeah. yeah. That's Ron. He would really enjoy it. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> you guys are so different than I picture. You Fez know, from Ron and Fez. Like, there's a million Fezes <laughs> running around. Yeah, what not that the, Fez. There's a club named Fez. And yeah. There's the, f oh, that's a fuzz. The what do you think? Yeah, he, he was fuzz. the club? She punched the guy <laughs> named Fez. Why in the nightclub? I know I've gained weight. <laughs> you know, I've when, never seen you before. When, when I see her, I can't believe it's not 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm not all gacked up because I have been in this situation. Situation my whole life, yeah. and yet here I am, and it's morning, and yeah. uh, I'm not in that situation anymore. Right, no. I know you're doing well. On the gap track. Oh, uh, nice. Never again, hey. right? Ne I have a hole in my nose. I can't do it anymore. There's a uh, hole in my nose. That, yeah, I know that song. I love it. Hey, Eliza. We got. 
We got these um, things outside the studio that want to come in oh, as well Jesus. to uh, add stuff to the Opie and Anthony Don't auction. Do you know who they are? Have you heard oh. of uh, Have you heard of our Opie and Anthony auction, Ron and Fest? Yeah. Are they taking off their clothes? Everybody's talking about it. Uh, yeah, probably. Why? Raising a thousands, wondering. thousands of dollars for the uh, troubled down there in uh, the right. Gulf Coast. We got some good items up for uh, bid. We do. When were those added? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna add more on Friday, but uh, the link's on OpenAnthony.com if you want to check out the Open Anthony auction. But I guess these two know Norton, and they got some items that they want to add to the auction. Don't, oh wow! Okay. You don't you know? In? Don't you know who that is? Oh, right there. Yeah. Old girlfriend week. Yeah, it's old girlfriend week. You know Opie, girl is. your ex girlfriend. You don't recognize her. Oh, that. Oh, wow. I didn't even recognize you. That you're like. Oh, okay. Remember Angel Amy? Hello. Hi guys. Don't you remember Angel, you? Angel Amy? I didn't see Opie. She oh, eat the original Angel Amy? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the oh new improved God. one. <laughs> Opie. You keep referring to me as their Holy ex-girlfriend. Shit. We never really dated. No, I know. That. I didn't see you my ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay. She's my. Oh, ex-girlfriend. that's the ex-girlfriend. Yeah. All right. Have I thought they had any sexual interaction. No, we're friends. We're Shell, friends. I know Shell and I know Amy, but I didn't. I didn't see her face, and I didn't. I, didn't I thought they were with the band. Eating ain't cheating. That's all. Good point. <laughs> Eating ain't cheating. Well, so. Amy hasn't been yeah. cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to clear it Good. up because hey. you know, wasn't sure. Why? Hey. That was Opie's line. <laughs> no, I didn't say shit. You know, there's you a tragedy right, right now in the Gulf Coast. Yes. The Gulf Coast? Yeah. The Golf Coast. <laughs> All right. Yes, there is. Ladies, you, you came in for uh, what? All right, let me explain Besides first. to be humiliated. Yeah. Your mom was moving out of her house, which is close to mine, yes. which oh, you know. Comfortable. And as she was moving out, she was getting rid of your stuff, so somehow I inherited it. Oh, you so, have Jimmy's old stuff? Old yeah, and it's kind of creepy, so I figured it's good for a good what cause. What did you get? She's from uh, North Brunswick. My parents did move out, uh, but I didn't even, I didn't know this until I forgot about it until you guys just walked Wait a in. minute. Your parents moved out. She lived close, so she started digging through the garbage, found some stuff, and now she's giving it to us for the auction. Sure. No. How did you <laughs> find... Oh, wow, those are my old... Uh, oh, my God. There's, like, hundreds of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> those are all, those are all. Those are all pictures I had on my wall. As a kid. And I you had them framed? <laughs> uh, I bought them like that at the flea market. They were Aussie, Aussie pictures. pictures. There was from, one that was 16 by 20. And my he's, dad got Oz, he's got a picture of Ozzy with blonde hair. That goes oh, way he looked, back. He looked like Bette Midler looking yeah, 84. Yeah. Wait a minute. In the back of the frame, there's an original constitution. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that picture. I was so scared it was Norton's grandmother. <laughs> Look at Ozzy in those days. Oh, and there was an Ozzy patch, too. An Aussie patch. Wow. Right. Oh, is that one from the back of the jacket? That's all stuff from when I was 15 and 16 years old. And, but she dug it out of the trash? It looks like I an air filter. I didn't dig it out of the trash. What did you do? Jeez. I know his mom. And your mom would give this stuff up? Well, I was going to throw it out. I didn't want it. Oh, all right, That's so a good one, though. There's some old pictures Ozzie of Ozzie. with a piece of chicken in his mouth holding right. a cross. That's in a front great of, one. Uh, a rotisserie chicken. He's yeah. like almost Zig Heiling. <laughs> almost. All right, what else? Ozzy, and is that Jakey e. Lee? It's just mostly Ozzy pictures. Oh, this was worth coming in for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Any personal Jimmy stuff? No. We were just looking pictures of Ozzy. We These are all stained. Yeah. Jesus, how yeah. many pictures of Ozzy did you have? Dude, I, I'm a fan. <laughs> I I understand. A fan is one Ozzie thing. Pointing this is at himself. crazy. Fanatic. Yeah, you're you're like a crazy person. I'm a, I told you. I, I loved Ozzy. What, what are those, Hawk? They're oh, little, little pictures, little like five by eight in My frames, the same take the black creepy out. wooden frames. And check everything else. Oh, that's, that's like a, a hunting lodge frames, aren't they? <laughs> like see a picture of a dead goose in there or something. Those are the worst frames I've ever uh, seen. That's a great one. Ozzy in a cape. Ozzy in a cape. They're Wonderful. all the same frame. Well, they're they're things that used to be in your room. Oh, they were hanging up behind my room for years. <laughs> Believe me. Look at we could those probably things get... have seen a lot of loads fly. <laughs> How big was your room? It must have been a wedding hall. That's that's right. Right. <laughs> A gallery. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll make. I'm a... having a showing in my room this evening. Oh, His there's... room was a hard rock. <laughs> we'll Ozzy and the midget. We'll add these to the auction, I guess. Oh, should... Could... Yeah, there's Ozzy and the midget. Wow, As a collection all... or separately? Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> bust up this. Good... Uh, come on, you can't bust the up price collection, this. right? Yeah. <laughs> you're <Ozzy. laughs> These were all on my wall at one time, wow. at once. All right. <laughs> wow, you are really sad. I don't know what that, that Superman thing. I don't know what that, that wasn't is. yours. No, who knows what that is? I think yeah. that she got in the wrong garbage can. <laughs> a picture of Gene Simmons. All right, from an old magazine. And not in a frame for some reason. Uh, yeah, Jimmy <laughs> wasn't worthy of the frame. Jimmy's high school diploma. Oh, well, there's Ozzy clapping. Another awful fat Ozzy <laughs> with the, the blonde. worst Ozzy photos ever. 
<laughs> it's the blonde Ozzy shag cut. <laughs> yeah. Where, when he was all fat. And there's a Bark at the Moon picture with a different frame. Yep. That's a good one. That's wonderful. That one looks like it's been nibbled on by mice. All right. That is an awful... That, I thought those frames are bad. You found one worse. <laughs> we are collecting stuff for the auction, so we'll see. Maybe Horrid. Maybe we can get some money for this. I don't know. Oh, I think these are worth big bucks. I really hope you do. Cause, these are all you vintage know, Aussie photos. You can't get these in these frames. <laughs> What's worse, Jimmy having these on his wall or shell, carrying them out of the garbage can <laughs> down the sidewalk? I got them. Priceless. <laughs> my pretty, my precious. <laughs> Right, well, you have any friends? Uh, this auction is falling apart. Yeah, by the day. Martini Steve also brought stuff in. Where's uh, Steve to explain what he brought in for the Opie and Anthony auction? Oh my God! And then we have Club Soda Kenny that brought some stuff. Where's Steve? Oh. Where's Steve? He's got to explain thought, his own Kenny? stuff. Kenny's in the other room with his uh, young boy. Wow, Steve brought some valuable items. All right, wait. Steve is uh, making his way into the <laughs> studio. I'm making his way in. Steve! Hey, Steve, what's up? I, I honestly didn't think that thing was real. That <laughs> is weird. It's the hybrid car. Wow! This is just like old time radio, guys. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> clop, clop, clop. I didn't hear the door open. <laughs> just go around one more time, uh, Steve. <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa, look out. There he goes. All right, set it down, set it down. And into a briefcase. He's, he's back from Cogswell Cogs just to see how everybody's doing. He used a thimble full of fuel getting here, too. Uh, less than that. Less than that? Yes. All right, see, what did you bring in for the auction? Uh, I have a couple of flame shirts that I am uh, donating. From the Bam Bam Bigelow collection. <laughs> wow. Oh, it, wow, his blue flame. Yeah, this is a uh, one. With the red, white, and blue American flag uh, silhouette of the nude woman. That's right. And one that's got uh, uh, red, red and orange flames and tattoo nice. guns on it. Nice. Oh wow! Obviously, are, two shirts you yeah. didn't want to wow. wear. No, that's not true. Actually, those are two of my favorites. Those this are this good is one. really nice for guys that want to repel women. It's, uh, <laughs> you put that on and just drive them away. It's like a magnet. If you walk down the street, cocks will actually fly off of people and stick to your body. <laughs> I can still smell Steve on them. <laughs> I still smell Steve. Ooh. What does that mean? Flame shirts with maps of Hawaii on the back. <laughs> All right, what else are you bring in, Steve? We also have, uh, we found oh, yeah, the, look at that. the original plaster hot Shannon bust. It was uh, sitting nice. in storage for three years. Remember yeah. that? I remember her. We uh, we Shannon. had her plaster casted, oh. and, and then they somebody airbrushed it, and it looks like her <laughs> torso after she's been with the... Uh, a serial killer for a little while. I, I no came in and, and uh, Bill the intern was fucking it this morning. So <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Very that's good. Nice. That's a good item. What else there, Steve? We also have, they're not here yet, but uh, X-Rated Shirts is donating uh, a bunch of Where's Chester t-shirts to the auction. And I'm, all bringing the, the, I'm bringing oh. in the actual boot tomorrow. Are you really? Yes. He's bringing in the actual boot. That kicked Chester in the liver. Allegedly. Thus killing him. Little hair stuck in it. <laughs> it could have a been doggy the, tear. The, it could have been the boots I was wearing when I was thinking about kicking the dog. No. You were wearing them when you kicked them. Is, uh, is there any uh, any uh, steak juice on it from where you had to pick up your steak after Chester ate it? My prime rib. Your prime rib. Well, that'll be in tomorrow. Uh, uh, all the new got. items are going up on Friday, by the way. Right. What else we got? And I'm still looking for my uh, my original Prius brochure, my uh, hybrid car brochure. What? Ooh. Yeah. The original. That's where you bring in two shirts and a car brochure. <laughs> what? I brought what? in my jeans today that I wore when I was anorexic during our time off. Yeah. And and Opie's jeans are one up on my flame shirts. Yeah. They're, yeah. Why? I don't know. Thank you. Jeans. I didn't Thanks. think it through. Uh, <laughs> where's Club Soda Kenny? Let's see what he brought in. Hi. I didn't see Kenny. Kenny. I bid ten dollars. <laughs> Stop! Stop! It's his son. <laughs> Greetings, yeah. everybody. Hello. Hi, Club Soda Kenny. Hello. Hi, Kenny. Thank you for having me, and I want to officially welcome Ron and Fez to High Voltage. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you Club Soda. Now you're official. <laughs> wow! And look at this—a key to the city. This is amazing. <laughs> well, let's face it; you guys deserve the best. Thank you very right. much. What you, a team. And if you need any security, <laughs> he's available. Yeah, that, that, that drunk fest you're having Friday night. Oh, God. We're go we're hey, going, by the way. 
Uh, I, I don't understand it. It's a party thrown, BB King's Friday. Mm -hmm. We just p pretty much found out about it. So we're like, oh, we can't put together something this quick. They mm -hmm. go, oh, it's an open bar. Yeah. So it's BB mm -hmm. King's, an open bar, come and drink against Fez. That's this the Friday? basic thing. Who, yeah, who can drink yeah. more than Fez? This Friday, starting at 530, Times Square. Very good. The only problem is Fez drinks, he... Cries. The tears. We've heard. <laughs> Not this time. I didn't even want to acknowledge it. I didn't want to bring it up. That's the old Fez. Now I'm finding it hard to look at him. Yeah. That. I forgot. Tape. I forgot we played that on the air. Is Here in my beer. Brutal. <laughs> we. Brutal. And we may have. Uh, goofed we may have played what? it 30 times on this very program. Oh, my <laughs> grandmother. How it gets out you there. You know how I felt. Why does he not? Oh, oh, for hour, for an hour. How long did that go on? Oh, well, what you want to do is count the word slack. You never cut me any slack. You count never those. cut me any slack. <laughs> it was so sad. The the shock the drunk took that his grandmother died at the age 99 and a half. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It was unexpected. <laughs> Jeez. She was in the Get coma. a lot of yucks over there, Ope. She <laughs> was so young. She was in a coma for the last ten oh months, God. and I'm not making that up. We never got the Willard Scott. Was she Shout really? Out. Was she incapacitated yeah. for months before? Yeah. So it wasn't a shock. I mean, it's awful and everything, but it wasn't. It's sad. Shock. But even when they're laying there, they're yeah. still part of your life. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Mm. All right. Then why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> And you just I don't didn't laugh, I'll get. Cry. You, <laughs> yeah. you were giving and giving all throughout that time, right. but you didn't yes. get the love of another you man. Didn't and it was back. stressful. The love of another man. It's pretty much. You're absolutely right. And yeah. we were supposed to be on, by, on XM by then too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true too. All right. Yeah. Well. And nobody cut you any slack. No. Let's None. go to Club Soda I heard that. Yeah. Kenny stole it. Kenny, what did oh, you uh, sorry, bring Kenny. in for the auction? I, I just got to say, it's overwhelming being in a room with so much talent. Thank oh, you. Uh, thank you. Kenny. Thank you. What did you raise for Jerry's kids? Well, I, I don't have much. <laughs> I guess I'll save the best for last. All right. <laughs> it's a priority mail envelope filled with <laughs> goodies. How hey, many? Th this is a cool picture, but, uh, you know, we're about somebody we're not supposed to talk about. Andrew Dice Clay. But I'll pass it around the room. The marquee at the beacon. Oh, That's look beautiful. at that. Oh, That's wow. Where it says WNEW's ONA. ONA. Andrew Dice Clay, Friday, mm -hmm. 8 p.m. Yeah, because it's all about ONA. <laughs> can we put this in a wooden <laughs> frame? Yeah. I guess we can sign a that. Frame. We'll sign that. Why don't you cobble a frame together, Jimmy? <laughs> and uh, we'll put that picture in. <laughs> Uh, what else? I really have an ass. And then, and then the old E frame <laughs> shop. Look at Ozzy's picture with Scrimshaw. Those horrid frames. All right, what else? Kenny. Uh, another oh. thing that, that the guy owes to the famous and talented Opie and Anthony oh. is flyers that were sniped to city for the garden appearance. Ah, for the Madison Square Garden and, show. And the little Opie and Anthony faces in halos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the flyer. All right, well... Uh, you don't have any other b better dice memorabilia? What about the jacket? <laughs> you got the jacket that I bedazzled? <laughs> Me and you spent hours that night with the bedazzler putting dice rolls. That jacket is heavy, my friend. So's dice. <laughs> oh! That's a joke. You get it? <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> Isn't he terrific, Kenny? Uh, better than terrific. All right, what else you got? I got a couple of dice, uh, all axis laminated passes. Yeah, I guess we could make this one item. And I told you I'd save the best for last. Here it is. Here's a copy of Meet the Creeps, which me and, and superstar Jim Norton star in. Ooh. Oh, you who else it? is in that motion picture? Jim Florentine. Florentine yeah, Florentine, in it? Don Jameson. Is Voss in that one? Casey Armstrong, no. Arnie, both in there? No. The heck of a... No. Voss didn't make the cut. I'm sorry. Is so. Dice in that? Negative. Will you guys sign that? That's yes. I, here. I, I oh. figured that me and little Jimmy could affix our autographs. Ooh, that's and, right. And this this is going to fetch a lot of moolah. Sure. Yeah, that's going to be a high-priced high, uh, high -priced item. All right. High brother end. Joe is on the line, Anthony's brother. <laughs> Joe, what's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hi, hey. Joe. I was at a 
Sorry, turn the turn the phone down. I'm multitasking. I'm driving to uh, Pennsylvania. We um, uh, you know, I had to donate something, and uh, I think this might get the uh, the most uh, the most money. It's a, it's a Fender Stratocaster that was uh, played by uh, myself at uh, the first softball game and signed by everyone at NEW from the original crew. Wow, that's yeah. actually a pretty good goddamn item. Yeah, it is. It's, Fender uh, Strat signed by everybody from NEW and everybody that was at the softball game that day. That is correct, Inclu including, yeah, Barry Williams signed it. Are you crazy? Uh, you yeah, could put that on yourself and fuck those refugees. <laughs> nah, Jesus. you, know, you got to give something back. I gotta find more roller yeah. blades myself. I'm to them up there. <laughs> wow, th that. We have to give it back. That's a huge item right, right there. How are we gonna yeah. get that item? You gonna come by soon? I'll, I'll bring it in next week. All right. Nice. Very good, Joe. Right. And I won't be playing that guitar this evening at uh, Molly Brannigan's in uh, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, or tomorrow night at Molly Brannigan's in Erie, PA. And which band are you performing with? Uh, the only one that I'm with currently, to you. No more evolution. No. Why? What happened there? Um, yeah, they, they skipped out on a $10,000 gig, so I kind of... Oh! Yeah, yeah, it was ridiculous. You put in that kind of time and effort and, uh, you know, have a bunch of hobbyists with you and... Uh, well, Joe, it. not uh, that not that you haven't been known to maybe go back to old things. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. I'll talk to you later. What is that later, about? Joe. Who knows? I'm still working. I'm still investigating. Oh, I, uh, my God. Hold I'm, on. One more phone I'm call. I thought it was a Laird reference. Huh? It could have been a Laird <laughs> reference. Joe, uh, you Joe always... You shoot the hostage. You shoot the hostage. Ugh. Joe always goes back to Laird. <laughs> Another Joe. Joe? Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey. How do you do, Joe? Hey, listen, I got something that may be of some value. It uh -huh. probably won't pop Joe's, but... Uh, I have the Daily News edition of the day that you guys were fired from WNEW. Yeah, we'll Ooh. sign that and uh, throw it up there. Bring it by. Yeah, I'll be more than happy to either mail it or drop it off. Was that the uh, Opie and Dopey headline? Yes. Ah, that's a, that's a, that's famous, a very one. famous one. It rhymed. That's a it keeper. It certainly yeah. did. Those people <laughs> in the news are so clever. We've only signed a couple of those, so bring it by, uh -huh. all right? Yeah, you, know how, you know how bad that, that, that nice cover job. would have been if Ope's real name was Bigger Cover? <laughs> <laughs> you are bad. Well, I'm just saying that's an odd name to have. Of course it is. <laughs> All right. Not necessary. <laughs> and we got some autographed baseballs today from Cal Ripken and others. And right. we know those are legit. And they're not like the ones you buy in those sports shops. Yeah. All the new items will be thrown up there by Friday. We're still trying to collect more. Are you going to bring anything else in? Yes, Jimmy? I certainly am. Something right. really good? We'll I'm going to do it. Gonna I'm going to do it. You're going to bring in the. I'm going to do it. I'm bringing in the Periwinkle shirt. Right. Oh, oh famous my God. Periwinkle oh. shirt. Uh, if my brother can sacrifice that strat, I can indeed uh, sacrifice a Periwinkle shirt. And uh, I'm going to bring in a dead mouse. Yes. What? You still find them in uh, the apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Freeze dry? No. Anyone? All right. Well. You're still finding uh, no, mice? No, I'm, I'm uh, good for now. What about the cockroaches? Roaches. Now it's all about the cockroaches. You got the roaches? I you made a good point. The the mice were eating the cockroaches, obviously, because now they're abundant. Circle of life. Circle it's of a life. Circle of life. Circle. You get rid of the roaches, you'll have aphids. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Come on, an aphids joke? How rare that is. <laughs> I'm still in the no one thing. Nothing? Nobody? No. All right. Anything? All right. Jesus. You know, uh, Aaron did come in to do news. You want to try to do some news before Ooh, we get out of here? Fancy. Sure, sure. Um, I don't get any head uh, headphones or anything. No. no. <laughs> don't really need it. You really don't want to hear what we're saying. Don't see anymore. Brian Williams wearing a big clunky <laughs> set of headphones, do you? Well, um, he can deliver the news without him. That's right. So can you. I'm, I'm really sad to say that... Uh, how about into the mic? Uh, <laughs> Bob Denver, TV's Gilligan, has passed. He died at age 70. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, what did he what, die of? Uh, I don't really read the news. So. Treatment he was receiving for cancer. Oh. So, you know, that's, that's that's terrific. Terrific. Why doesn't that cut me any slack when Gilligan died? <laughs> I grew up watching him and loving him. And, 
He's I, just gone now. I haven't had anything to drink yet. You know, you're joking, but it will happen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I worry about the open bar thing. It's Friday at BB King. Please I'll roll tape. I'm Please trying roll to, tape. I'm trying to think of another word for pussy, but I can't uh, come up with it. <laughs> but when he drinks, he You goes, don't need another word. <laughs> he goes in Wait that direction. Nuts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's the news. It's the lit. That's right. Thank you. Meat uh, pocket, only reason we talk to women. <laughs> All right. What really infuriated me the most yes. in the news um, was... Uh, this is news and commentary. Was <laughs> The professor still alive? No. With <laughs> Why couldn't I he make a cure for oh, Gilligan? No. Um, oh, no. What Kanye West went on the air during that fundraiser and did, which I found to be just one of the most despicable things, you know, you get all these... What do you do? Um... They're having a fundraiser. What I saw on the TV was Kanye West, Mike Myers, and Chris Tucker. And Kanye West, you know, Mike Myers does his little spiel. Kanye West goes on and starts blaming George Bush and saying that if it was a white mm. state, Bush would have stepped in. Wow. And, you know, the, the whole storm it, or the whole hurricane is George Bush's fault. And George Bush hates black people. With my weather machine, I'll destroy the world. And, and when he, as soon as he said that. <laughs> Simon Bar Sinister? Is that where you're going? Simon, Simon Bar Bush. So as soon as he said that, you know, he's trying to infuriate black, black people, saying by, uh, George Bush hates black people. As soon as he said that, they pull the camera away from him, goes to Mike Myers. Mike Myers just looks stunned, doesn't know what to do. Goes to Chris Tucker, who also looks stunned, doesn't really know what to say. I mean, they He's an Uncle Tom, though. What? Chris Tucker. The thing is, is that you're going to get all these, like, all these black people pissed off. And we don't want that. Well, no, maybe they'll Oof. give a little more money, but the white people are going to get disgusted and give less money. So that's the effect of brilliant Kanye West. First well, of all, Bush wouldn't have acted faster if it, if it was a white state. If it was a white state, God wouldn't have let it happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Wow. Did, but, did, I mean, he could have acted. Uh, yeah, well, he, he wants the black vote. There's more black Republicans now than ever, so it's not a black and white thing. He wants the black <laughs> vote. He wants the black. Who wants the black it's, vote? It's there's more. It's got to be a Why does Bush want any <laughs> vote? He's done. Yes. He's, he's done. Oh, is it his second term? <laughs> it's his second term. There's no vote left. I knew, Remember I knew when I he promised less black people and taxes? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, point, no point. He, he still wants at right now. <laughs> he still wants the black approval. All right, all right, maybe Why does he want the we black all, you know what? We all do. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're not going to visit the library. <laughs> maybe he would have kicked in sooner than I forgot yeah. that was his yeah. Yeah. Why don't we go to the Kanye West audio? Let's hear the oh, audio. I oh, got it, all right? You got it? Yeah, I got it. Peachy you just sit back and listen. Bean. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. See a white family that says they're looking for food, and you know it's been five days because most of the people are black. And even for me to complain about, I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher TV because it's too hard to watch. I've even been shopping before even giving a donation. So now I'm calling my business manager right now to see what's what is the biggest amount I can give, and and just to imagine if I was. If I was down there, and those are those are my people down there, so anybody out there that wants to do anything that we can help with with the setup, the way America is set up to help the uh, uh, the poor, the the black people, the uh, the less well off as slow as possible. I mean, this is Red Cross is doing everything they can. We we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now, fighting another way, and they they they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. What? And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating, is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. Yeah, the baby! The yeah! In southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Oh. Please call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please call. Wow. Please call. All right. I got, yeah, there is. All right. Uh, I mean, very uncomfortable well, moment. Mike Myers should have gone into a delightful Scottish accent. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that, you know, he's saying that it, it's racist to show pic pictures of black people looting. If they're looting, it's news. They're doing it. So how the hell is it racist to show pictures of what's going on? If Mike Myers. <laughs> <laughs> I 
going to get white people pissed off, and they're the ones that have the money, and they're going to give less money. I have a little analogy for you. All right. Okay. Thank God. So, you know, I think in this country, if you're a minority, yeah. you know, we already went back in the 60s. We gave you some civil rights. Well, so <laughs> gave them. Now, now everyone's all, you know. That was a gift from us to you. You're a too. We, we, Enjoy. Bring her out. We, we won't rape we her. We freed them. We let them vote. And so if you are going to be a minority in this country, you better set an example. You better be better than the white man because you're coming from, a, a, like, um, you're starting at a lower point. It's going to be more of a struggle. I'm not saying you're less than, but, but I'm saying, all right, here's my analogy. If you are a farmer, you know, you, don't, you, you sell a bunch of other shit. You don't sell apples. So you, get, you buy apples from another farmer. If you consistently get a bunch of apples from this farmer and there's always a few bad apples in the bunch, it'll make no, the whole not. it'll make the whole thing rotten. I so saw it, Mr. Douglas give the same speech for oh, Green no, Acres. Right. When, when you get a few bad apples in the bunch, it makes all the apples look bad. And don't say apples, say watermelons. So, yeah. <laughs> so when you get assholes I'd like Kanye plants, West, but... you know, saying it's racist to show them looting, if they yeah. weren't looting, we wouldn't be able to show them looting. Right. And so, you know what? I've never yeah. been to a movie theater where uh -oh. I couldn't watch a Slow. movie where there was it's a starting. white family talking. Yeah. Yay! 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 And, and, Give me the Greek has been vindicated. Wait, am I still on? I love it. Oh, am I still on? <laughs> So I, and go ahead, go and leave, leave at the helicopters uh, yeah. trying to come in and help the people. Because you know how they are. Yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> <laughs> they only shot at it because they didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, we get it. <laughs> well, that, that is a, a, a great analogy, actually, mm. that, that a few bad apples spoil the whole bunch. Yeah. They're certainly it's true. applauding in the South right now. Right. And now and <laughs> segregation <laughs> now. Segregation the mall. That they're only t taking pictures of the black people looting, right. and they're not taking pictures of the white people looting. Like they just have an asshole. You don't want some kind of conglomerated <laughs> mulatta <laughs> mongrel <laughs> class of apple. We, the we, Macintosh and the Red Granny. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, is there is there, is there a Red Granny? Yeah. Is that right? Uh, granny, granny Smith. Smith. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops, Macintosh and Red Granny. Sorry. It was the Red Granny. And... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Apologize. I mean, if it wasn't a poor state, then the state would have kicked into action sooner. Oh. It is a, it's a state thing. Oh. Yeah. Bush took five days. All right, know? we got your point. Uh, I liked it better when you were coked up. Oh, I really shit. did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what else you got there? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Apparently, smokers' risk of being blind is, is doubled. So... If you put them out in your eyes. Sure. <laughs> That's a mistake. Yeah. Um, a people that smoke are twice as likely to go blind. Never mind the cancer. That's the whole story? Um, that's, uh, that's about, not much this is that's an opinion piece. <laughs> much, I really had a lot to say about the, the hurricane and my welfare beliefs, etc. Um, California backs gay, uh, gay marriage law, which I'm sure Arnold won't sign to a bill. I don't believe in gay marriage, but... Why don't Oh, you? it's real. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it does exist. I think they should get the same tax breaks, um, and I think it should be called civil union, but I don't think it should be called marriage. Why? Because, civil union? Because since the 60s and the whole Susan Faludi backlash bullshit and the whole bullshit women's movement, why do things that are different have to be called the same? Why does everything have to be the same? What is this bullshit equality? Things are different, and different things should be acknowledged as different things. So you're saying that they should actually do the vows like, I now pronounce you parentally disappointing faggots. <laughs> I think it should be called the You may place union. the peanuts in his ass. <laughs> so it, it it's not all men union. are created equal. We're all created different. We're all created different. Right. So we got to get rid of the Constitution right off the bat. Yeah. That's the I thing we need to do. That's where, that's where start, we fucked right? up you in can't the 60s. Equal but it always comes back to the 60s. The goddamn Wait, so 60s. This is the Earth 2 I Have a Dream speech. So you're going to say men and women are, 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 men and women are different, obviously. Yes. That, that's not saying that they're not equal. It's right. Just we buy pot. You guys just smoke it. That's, where, that's the big it's difference. It's just saying they're different. Right. You know? So you're saying no uh, marriage, just civil unions. Civil union, yeah. get the same tax breaks. No and blacks and whites together. Not blacks and whites They're together. They're different. What about that? I, I, I think that's, you know, that's fine if that's your choice. It's not my personal choice. No. But, um, 
You got, um, a, you got anything on Saddam today? That was a big story. Oh, yeah. Where is that? And Ted Williams, he's, his head. Is this an everyday thing? Oh, is this your new news girl? Yeah, or? this is... Uh, hmm. This is what we It's going to be good, I think. <laughs> you, you guys needed a more political slant. Of course we did. <laughs> yeah, this is, it fits in perfectly. <laughs> She's thumbing through oh, wait, it. Wait, is that? No, 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 you got oh, it. Oh, boy. Right. No. She can't find it, Opie. What did you just ask me about the, again? The thing. The <laughs> How about you uh, end the news with a headstand for everybody? Ron and Fez, no, no, no. they're what starting the on 202 Monday. Before, huh? What was the thing you asked me for? Before? Saddam Hussein, you know, that little story. And no, Friday, yeah. come out drink free with us <laughs> at BB King's in Times Square. I will be there. You're going to be there? Absolutely. Saddam nice. Hussein Coming down. has confessed to a whole bunch of other bad Thanks. shit that, that bad apparently shit. he did. So obviously, he is, in fact, uh, a bad man. And um, uh, All right, should we end with a hug? Why don't you go hug Anthony? No. <laughs> There's no hugging me. That's, a, that's an old bit. Uh, now, Opie. Iraq's <laughs> president said Saddam Hussein uh, has confessed yep. to killings and other crimes well, committed during his regime, oh including the massacre of thousands of Kurds in the late 1980s. Jalal Talabani, he should be cavity searched, said the deposed <laughs> leader should be executed many times over. I don't think that's possible, but okay. In Baghdad, gunmen shot and killed a top Iraqi defense ministry official Wednesday as he drove through a dangerous neighborhood in the south of the capital. You better get Separately that in your ass wired together or I will take a giant shit ministry commando patrol in the west of the city, killing a colonel and wounding four bodies. Okay, terrific. George Bush doesn't care about Kurds. Right. All right, we got to wrap up here. Would you love your country? Yes, sir. How about getting with the program? <laughs> Why don't you jump on the team and come on in for the big win? <laughs> I want to thank Ron Fez for stopping by. They're going to be here again tomorrow, I believe. Tomorrow, yeah. Brian Regan's yeah. going to be in studio tomorrow as well. Aaron, Jim Norton's ex, thanks for stopping by. You were I'm the not in studio tomorrow? Uh, you can if you want. You're the star of the show. And Club Soda Candy, always a pleasure. We'll see you tomorrow. Right, tomorrow night, I'm going to. Where? Hi.